today's video i have been using the luna 3 for years to cleanse my face and i recently just upgraded to the luna 4 for sensitive skin and i love it using the luna 4 is the most hygienic way to cleanse your face and is clinically proven to remove 99.5 percent of dirt oil and makeup residue from the skin and removes impurities trapped deep within the pores reducing your chance of breakouts I personally have been struggling with hormonal acne along with black and white heads and using this has really helped to unclog my pores especially around my nose and then the cleanser that I have it doesn't really lather that well so I use the Luna 4 in addition to really get my skin completely clean and to help me stay consistent with my routine i use the ferrero app which also has a feature where you can do guided massages to help you to relax your facial muscles and the tension to promote a healthier complexion if you're interested in trying out the luna 4 the first 100 people to use my link in the description box will get 35 percent off their purchase thank you again to ferrero for sponsoring today's video listen <sighs> i'm not even gonna give that welcome to the vlog hello happy monday i thought it was gonna be like a really cute aesthetic intro to this video because i was like oh i'm gonna start it on sunday and it's gonna just be the vibes we're gonna decorate for christmas no okay no so i'm just gonna give you guys an update because i haven't started the vlog it's monday and i'm like okay we gotta talk to the girls i like be trying to keep y'all out my my mess of my life but it just is what it is so basically y'all know last week i was telling y'all that the the air is out okay that's not even the problem but i've been smelling this really weird smell for like the past couple weeks on and off and i can smell it more when i open up the windows so like it's coming from outside i don't know why i got my phone last night and i was like what does this smell google was like maybe it's gas so then i went out to the side of the house where the gas meter is and i smelled it strong coming from there but then of course like i said it's been coming and going so i called at most who is the energy or the gas people they come out he's here now he's like it doesn't smell like gas i'm like you're right it doesn't smell like gas but this morning it smelled like gas so i'm like the only thing i could think of is like if it's my neighbor but i don't know but anyways he was like yeah we're gonna change out your meter we're gonna check the pressure see if we can find anything and then i found out i don't know if i told y'all or not but the backup generator is what's causing the ac to go out every single time so the electrician has to come today check the voltage but i'm so embarrassed because look at my house excuse me okay this is laundry that we started to fold yesterday but i didn't get around to doing anything because the kids were getting their hair cut and then i was taking down all the fall decorations to put out the christmas stuff but i had to wait for somebody to come help me get everything out the <laughs> attic that was the dishwasher and yeah it was just a lot there's a lot going on so anyways i just want to come on and tell y'all what we're gonna do for the week the agenda there's obviously other things going on with the house and whatnot but i just dropped the kids off at school i have work to do so that's why i was like i'm gonna carry the tree and then i had other plans for today but now i'm kind of like backed up in my week because i have to work today and i have to get it done so I gotta sit down on my computer for a couple hours, get some work done, and then hopefully my plans for today is just to clean the house and then hopefully be able to do some type of Christmas decorating with the kids when they get home tonight or whatever. So that's really the plan for today. Everything else in the week, I don't know. I had like a agenda, a calendar, but I don't know how that's gonna go. So I'm not even gonna tell y'all what I was thinking about doing because I don't know what's gonna happen. Only thing I know this week is that Carter has a field trip on Thursday, which I didn't get invited to, so tomatoes yeah it's literally a disaster everywhere no sunday reset i didn't get groceries i didn't do anything the laundry unfolded i don't even know what i was doing yesterday it was really because i was trying to do too many things at one time and i should have just stayed focused on the one task oh 
Oh, I know what we're doing. This. Christmas haul. I basically want to get all of that oh, stuff out of the way, like as far as wrapping gifts. And then I think I was telling you on the last vlog, like I would give y'all a little haul just in case you need a little inspo for if you have kids because I feel like it's kind of hard to shop for them. I'm going to unbox and start wrapping everything once I get everything set up for Christmas or like get the Christmas tree up and stuff so we'll probably do that later in the week sometime and I also just like want to get rid of the boxes and stuff and I also have to like organize the house. That's really what this week is kind of supposed to be focused around like the next like month i told y'all just trying to get the house organized so everything is like a mess because i pulled everything out of the hall closet i'm just gonna store everything in the garage for now so i got some like shelves to put up in the garage to just like kind of organize everything but i want this closet space right here to be more functional sorry if the fan is loud i have to keep the air circulating because it's warming up today and we don't have any AC and it was like so hot last night. We're going to be organizing and getting into all things Christmas. Sorry, this is not a, a vibey intro. I was really hoping like last night was going to be cute. I even started like recording because I was like taking down the fall stuff. We're going to put up the Christmas stuff. And then the day just did not go as I anticipated. Whoa honestly what's new okay well i've got to get to work unfortunately so i will see you guys later once we either start cleaning up or decorating for christmas so the first thing that is on my monthly favorites for let's say october i know it's november but october is the star face pimple patches i love these because they're just like so cute to wear out of the house like if you have a pimple and you usually wear like mighty patches they're just like more cute and they actually cover the pimple instead of like showing that you have a pimple but you have a sticker on it do i think they're the best for like pulling everything out like the mighty patch no like mighty patch is still like good for like overnight in my opinion i feel like these are just cute stickers to like wear around during the daytime so anyways yeah i've been wearing these a lot i'm about to put one on low-key because i have like a little zit right here but honestly they come there's a lot in a pack because i saw this girl on tiktok and i was cracking up and she was like i was gonna go get some of them little star face pimple patches and then i saw the price on them and like i feel like all hydrocolloid hydrocolloid band-aids are expensive like mighty patch is expensive i was saying that in another vlog like it's just outrageous like they're high but what i like about these i got them off amazon and i think they were like 14 dollars something but you know mighty patch comes with like 12 there's 96 stars in here so i feel like it was a good deal but i don't know where she got hers from but they do be high so anyways and then okay next thing this deodorant i talked about it in a hygiene routine that i uploaded recently but i've been loving this it like leaves you smelling like absolute nothing i don't know what it is but it's aluminum free it's coconut vanilla scented but i can't really smell it on my armpits but i just i love it like i've been really struggling to find a good aluminum free deodorant that just does does what it's supposed to do no tinge no smell no nothing and she works so shout out to a random walgreens trip i took one day and god and then the next two things i've been loving is the la roger thermal spring water and then also the cerave moisturizing cream so get the actual cream if you're interested of what i'm talking about but i know that they make like a facial lotion but that one's not as thick as this and this works a lot better because between the adapalene and the retinol i've been using my skin was getting like so dry and my skin barrier was like literally like my skin was like raw like all right here and then i started using these two things along with um some snail mucin but yeah saved my skin like i mean my skin is back like it doesn't probably look I, anyways my skin is back healthy so tatcha oil cleanser i love i've been using this every single day i use it like mostly in the evenings or after i put on sunscreen but i like that it's an oil cleanser in a pump instead of like one of those balms you have to scoop out because i personally just don't like having it all under my nails and stuff like that 
and this just really gets my skin clean and it hasn't broken me out and I feel like other balm cleansers are good but sometimes they're a little too heavy for my liking especially because the cleanser that I use after this is not like super sudsy it's the one the dermatologist prescribed to me and it's just like a sulfur cleanser so you just let it sit on your face it's not like super like foamy and can like get all of this off like a oil off if that makes sense so yeah i love her it's almost gone but i just got a new thing in my sephora order so pfb vanish get you some i just had to throw this in the monthly favorites because i feel like so many people struggle with like an ingrowns or like discoloration like in that area and i feel like the girls i've been talking about this for years so i don't know who needs to hear this again but if you have an ingrown anywhere on your body this will get rid of it and you can use this all over your body like you can use it on your legs you can use it on your underarms i most commonly use it like on my downstairs area but it will literally get rid of all the discoloration and dark marks if you use it consistently if you just want to use it for like ingrowns you only have to use it like two times the ingrown will be gone or like come out if that makes sense so i love this stuff and this bottle right here has lasted me like three years i've never repurchased this every time y'all see me with this it's the exact same bottle like i've been using this for forever it lasts a long time especially because i'm just using it on a small area of my body so i think everybody needs one of these personally but that's just my opinion and then this day hair oil she smells so good i just love it i feel like it really helps tame like the frizz in my boho braids and just gives them like a sleek moisturized look i don't know how it would work on my natural hair but i like using it for my boho braids and it makes my hair smell really really good so i repurchased it I, I like it to put it on your actual natural hair i don't know but for now loving it and then a tongue scraper and i'm saying a tongue scraper because y'all know if you know me i've been using tongue scrapers for forever but for the longest time i was using the metal 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 <laughs> reusable ones and they're honestly just like way wider and so it's kind of like hard to get like all the like back back there without gagging so i like these because they're smaller and they're disposable i like just being able to like toss them out but because it's small i can like get all the way like in the back of my mouth easily and just like hold on let me make sure he's not at my door because sometimes the doorbell be ringing and sometimes it okay let me go check downstairs hold on one second he was indeed at the door so i'm glad i went down there but anyways yeah i really like these and then also they're good for the kids i had the boys start using these and yeah i just i'm just not to brag on my kids but whoever ends up with my kids hopefully is gonna be so lucky i mean i don't know how they gonna turn out girl because yeah but as far as hygiene boys they gonna be good okay the last two things are the cuckoo wash y'all know me and my coochie we've been beefing okay since i had mellow she would not let me put anything down there like soap wise besides like an oil cleanser and baby that's mostly it she was very very sensitive so i had tried out a couple different things and nothing was working like it was either just like burning or i just didn't like the way it felt like but this love this i feel like it's similar to bh essentials because it has like the tea tree oil in it and stuff like that but it's just a little bit more gentle so i don't get that burning sensation when i use it but it still makes me like feel fresh and, and clean so yeah the last thing this gua sha i've been wanting to get into gua sha for so long but it's just so hard because it's like when do you do gua sha you put oil on your face then you do gua sha then you rinse it off and you do your skincare routine like i just don't have time for that every single day and it was just i feel like i just couldn't incorporate it into my routine in a productive enough way for it to make sense i don't know how to explain it because you need slip to use the gua sha right anyways i saw this girl on tiktok and she was doing it in the shower and i was like level unlocked she is genius so now when i get in the shower i just use my oil cleanser or you can use whatever type of cleanser she said she just uses her regular cleanser but then that gives you the slip and then you just start doing it in the shower so i've been doing like my chest like you're supposed to like open up your lymph nodes or whatever so you just like kind of do like this i'll if you want the link i'll get it from tiktok but basically anyways you just like open everything up in the shower and then it's just like you go 10 times wherever you want to like focus your gua sha but i've been using it in the shower and i'm like that's such a better way to incorporate it into my routine and then i'm actually Getting, get, being able to do it so hopefully i'll start to see the benefits from it soon i really haven't noticed too much of a difference but i've only been doing it for like a week so 
we shall see but anyways yeah girl that's my monthly favorites i'm about to go get on my computer and start working and then hopefully the next time i see y'all we'll be cleaning up and decorating for christmas tonight and about the gas he said he said he was coming back to replace the meter because he didn't have the parts but he didn't notice any like pressure issues so the smell is not gas which i'm happy about but i'm also like i need to figure out what the smell is because it is so rank and disgusting i am so sick of smelling it i don't know what it is or where it's coming from or who but it smells like dirty diapers on stair it's disgusting okay Anyways. return your wi-fi equipment to spectrum because they're going to charge you a thousand dollars i'm so pissed but they did try to get me but i'm not even gonna talk about it because anyways spectrum is sketchy we don't have them anymore i am not with metro anymore i went att verizon also sucks just two anyways i'm about to get att for my phone line but i got att for the internet Whew. oh my goodness you guys what a day i've been having i just could not get in the zone on editing today i don't know what it is like but i need to i need like a caffeine or something i'm gonna have to get me some like celsius i have some red bull but i just i don't know the time change was i was doing good with the time change at first i felt so refreshed like i had extra hour in the morning and this morning was good but for some reason i know i'm tired Mello was up last night in the middle of the night then did go back to sleep and then carter was also in my bed and they both put their feet on me in their sleep and i cannot stand being touched while i'm asleep so i literally was on the edge of the bed in a ball last night oh they'd be driving me crazy anyways i'm about to start cleaning up i was just coming to check in i'm not even about to clean really i gotta leave here in 20 minutes anyways <sighs> i don't know why i've been so overwhelmed today like my anxiety has been like 10 all day like my chest is tight i don't really know what's going on i i don't know what it is but i'm just like woo! i got this soap and i know y'all are already about to say something but don't even say nothing girl i'm working with my dermatologist and my esthetician to clear my skin so i'm doing what both of them are telling me to do and kind of like mixing it up which i feel like i'm gonna get the best results from doing like i'm getting the medication from my derm which is good for you know like helping with internally and then some other topical things but my esthetician was telling me to get this pigment bar from pca and then it like really helps to like even out skin tone so i'm gonna incorporate using this cleanser because the cleanser that the derm gave me it's not even really like a cleanser it's like a mini mask that you put on and let sit on your face for like one to two minutes like benzoyl peroxide so i'm gonna incorporate both of them and see how it goes but she said this was gonna help so i got it it looks like this and then it's kind of like the urban decay even bar cleanser thing that they have i'm looking for this sunscreen i just got i really hope the fan is not loud in the background if it is i apologize i ain't got no ac baby the fans is on i really hope they are able to fix it by tomorrow like why don't they already have the parts in stock you know people's stuff's gonna go out keep it in stock at a little warehouse or something yeah my problem is I think I can tell everybody how to do their job when I probably don't know what I'm talking about but I just always am like yeah I got this spray on sunscreen from La Roger because I'm so sick of having a like I feel like I always have to redo my skincare to reapply my sunscreen because I just don't like layering sunscreen on my face after a while like I used to but especially because my face has just been like super sensitive to break or like acne prone lately I'm like mm. I don't want to just slab more sunscreen on so I got this let's see how it goes on I'm scared oh my god oh my god, oh my god. I'm screaming is it gonna dry down and not be white because when I was on TikTok and they said to get this, they said it didn't leave any white caps. Okay. I, I I don't know what I was expecting honestly. That burns my eyes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like a little cute mist. No, no. 
It, it doesn't have a white cast though. It did dry down. I can't see. Are my eyes red? Holy sh- I'm trying not to curse. Okay. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't know if I'm blind or not. I close my eyes. <laughs> okay, well. I will keep you updated. To be it's really thick and heavy, so. I feel like that's a good thing because it's like on there, but hopefully it dries down a little bit more. Hopefully my vision comes back. Oh my God. Is it white? Is it giving Casper? Is it giving ghost? I can't tell if it's white cast or not, honestly. And I don't feel like going back upstairs to look in the mirror, so. If there is, there is. It is what it is. Something about having my hair up just makes me feel better. I'm really about to put it in a bun. Put it in a bun. No, because when I drive, I'll have to take it down because it'll be on comfortable all right anyways so i just go pick up the kids i've been editing all day well i've been trying to just like put like little cute fun edits on the vlog but child, i don't know why i'm just like burnt out today i'm about to should i leave early and go get a starbucks they have their winter drinks out i really don't know what to drink besides pink drinks okay i need recommendations from starbucks that is not coffee so if you get a really good refresher or i'll do a frappuccino which i know has a little bit of coffee in it or something but yeah but a full-fledged like coffee no i can't do it i'm sorry it's disgusting i can't i can't i can't but if y'all have some cute little drink recommendations for me please let me know because i would love that also I said I was gonna stop dressing like a bum out of the house, but that has yet to happen. Who cares at this point? Like, who cares? Just accepting that I am who I am, and it is what it is. There's a wasp. It was like knocking at the window. I need some water though. I haven't had enough water today. Why are there hot dogs on the counter? Mom, Jesus, take the wheel. Take it from Father's. Cause I can't do this on my own. I need to call Carter's school and see if I can go on his field trip on Thursday. Even though I wasn't invited, I still would like to go. I don't have to be a chaperone, but I can get still go. It's a public place. Probably gonna be like, ma'am, you need to seek mental help. I just want to see him experience it. Does that make sense? Like, if they're going to the zoo or somebody else there, somewhere else, I would probably still have wanted to go as a chaperone, but it's his first time going to this place. I want to see, I want to take pictures. It's like a really cool place. Like, I want to go. I want to go. I'm gonna message this teacher. Let's take a shot. Even though last time I took one of these while I was in the car, I had to pee so bad. When we got home, I was like, kids, don't get out. Like, no one's getting out the car right now. I need to run in here and go to the bathroom. Because I knew I have to, like, help Mello get out and stuff. And I was like, everybody just sit still. I ran in the house. Okay, this is the probiotic apple red cabbage lemon ginger probiotic culture drink. Cheers. I need to call them and see when these expire because they don't have expiration dates. Anyways. They're not bad. They're just not something you would just enjoy drinking. Like I wouldn't be like, oh, I wanna go take a pro action. I said ginger, makes it disgusting. I'm just a big baby. I don't like, I'm a, if it don't taste good, I don't want it in my mouth. I'm trying to hype myself up for this cleaning. Cause I'm like, this drive is really about to take me out. I originally was gonna stop like 45 minutes before I had to go get the kids and then clean, try to like pick up a little bit and then go. I don't need to leave for another 15 minutes. Let's see what we can done, get done in 15 minutes. I mostly just wanna like consolidate everything to like one area. It's hard when you have a mess everywhere and then you don't know where to start. And I think that's where I'm at. It's like, I'm just like, that's where I was yesterday. Like I took everything out of the closet and then everything was scattered around the house. And then I was like, oh my God, like what have I done? And what do I do now to reverse this mess? Have mercy, I still need to get a grocery order. I really thought this was gonna be my week to just get back on my grind, to wake up early, to work out. Somebody is in 
big, big, big trouble. Because let me tell y'all right now, I'm sick. I just spent the last three hours cleaning the house to get ready to decorate for Christmas. And what do you know it? Where's my Christmas stuff? When I tell you, I am like, my head is hot. Cause I'm just like, I, I mean like, of course, don't get me wrong. I love an excuse to go shopping, but like, I really liked all the Christmas stuff I had last year. And it was like investment pieces of things that I got. Expensive investment, use it over and over and over again. I have no idea where my stuff is. This is everything out of the attic. I'm about to boohoo, cry, not gonna cap. Not even gonna cap to you. Spent a pretty penny on my Christmas stuff last year. This is it, besides the three trees. Well, one, two, four trees. How do we end up with four trees? I don't know, don't ask me. I'm really sad. I'm not gonna cry about it, because that's dramatic. I'm like glad that's probably the worst thing that's happened to me today, but also, Target, here we come. Like, and I got a lot of stuff from like Crate and Barrel and Pottery Barn, and that stuff is expensive, but I was like, justified because i would reuse it every year it's like not like decor i don't you know throw it away unless you know you don't you start i liked what i got i'm really upset <laughs> i told i said i was gonna stop wearing this bonnet on camera is this better not that i really care but sometimes when i'd be going back to edit i'd be like you are a literal trifling mess and please wipe the crust out of your eyes before you pick the camera anyways i'm overly upset because I just don't see like anything. And like there's only the Christmas boxes left. And I know there's some ornaments in the boxes with the Christmas trees, but like this is quite literally so sad. Cause I don't know if it got lost in the move because we had everything up in our old attic. And I remember like Aaron carrying everything down. So I don't know if the movers I don't know how they would have misplaced it, but I also wasn't there when everybody was like moving everything. Like Aaron was there and like finishing with them. So at least I have my red pot and I have my baby Jesus <laughs> and I have my snow globe, which is really important to me because my it was my grandma's. And one of them broke last year, and I think when it when it broke, I like stopped vlogging for like a week and a half because I was like, I'm about to cry just thinking about it right now because it's so sad. This is why the holidays are so hard, which is why I like go out of my way to just like make it really cheerful and try to stay positive. But I really like I love the holidays. I don't want to say I don't like the holidays, but just like the three best people in my life all passed away in December, 2020 and 2021, and then my niece passed away when she was five and her death anniversary is this month in november like 10 days before carter's birthday and so it's just a really hard time for me but i still want the kids to you know have like that magical christmas like experience and i really do i really love holidays i really like the holidays but it's just so hard i don't know i got off topic because i'm about to cry because i have my little snow globe and then i pulled out all the ornaments i feel so stupid for crying <laughs> I just like have all this sentimental stuff around Christmas time, but now I'm sad because I'm like, now I don't know what else was in the rest of the boxes and I just want my stuff. <laughs> I feel like people always think it's really dumb when you cry on camera, but it's like, I didn't put up the camera so I could cry. Like it just so happened to happen when I was talking. <laughs> my time like a full fledged mental breakdown right now. I'm trying to keep it together. Okay, well, <laughs> we're gonna have to go Christmas shopping. I had some really good stuff that I really liked. Like, I have this is the only pillow that I have left. I got like all the crate and barrel pillows, and first of all, they're expensive. I'm not about to rebuy them. That's my L. I'm not about to rebuy them. They're hard to assemble on the couch, anyways. They don't even really look that cute. If I get anything else, it'll probably be a white snowflake. But like last year, I got all of them. Okay? It's balling for the Christmas decor last year. But it was because we had a different space and we had like a bigger home and I was like, I'm definitely gonna like keep these for like when we buy a house and just like always use them. I'm done. I didn't come on here to be emotional though. Like I was just showing y'all I didn't have any of my Christmas decor. So I'm gonna take the viral, I got the viral. Let's, let's switch the vibes. Let's switch the vibes. 
I'll cry about it later. <clears throat> Cause crying is good for you. I really don't cry enough, honestly. Like I need to cry more to like really just like release. Cause like I can feel it in my chest. Like I just hold a lot of stuff in and I never just like take the time to just really like cry. You know what I'm saying? Because I always just, you know, I'm gonna be okay. Everything happens for a reason in life. You know, I just, I be trying to just like see the best in the situation, but I need a good cry. I need a little good little cry session. Maybe if I get it out of my system now. No, it probably won't be easier, but anywho. Let's get the tree. I got the Viral Home Depot tree because I'm hoping we'll fit right here in this space. When I moved into this house, my biggest thing when I go look at houses is where am I put my Christmas tree? That's the first thing I always ask myself. I don't know why I didn't think about it in this house, but there's really not a good spot for a Christmas tree in here. So I'm just gonna like have different trees in like different little areas, like probably put one up in the office and that'll be like the main place where we like will open up presents on Christmas morning and stuff. But like in my head, the Christmas tree is supposed to be by the fireplace in front of a window, whether that's in the, I don't know. <laughs> you know, the movies, it's where it goes in the movies, but. For now, we're gonna put a tree right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, Cause I told the kids, what, we're really not gonna be able to do a lot today. We only have, like, I'm really happy though. Like all of the sentimental things are the only things that, that I like cared about. I feel like are still right here. Like I have like half of the nativity scene, but that's not on me. Somebody else in my family had it before me and then I had to like get the rest of the pieces. But we got this little ornament. <clears throat> it says Davis Town. And it's like Aaron Street, McKenna Lane, Carter Way, Carson Road. And now I'm like, oh, we're gonna have to get another one for Carmelo. But this is a gift that um, Aaron's stepmom gave us that passed away. And I'm not even gonna start because I'm literally gonna put cry. I was crying about it the other night. Every time it just gets close to Christmas, I'm like, she's the only person, not the only person. I also have an aunt, like my aunt, she made Christmases magical for me, like my whole childhood growing up. But as an adult, like his stepmom and me, like we just got close. And she's the only person who like made me feel like 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 family time at Christmas, if that makes sense. Like we took family photos for Christmas and like just things I had never experienced before with somebody who like wasn't even my mom or his mom, honestly, and like took us in and our kids and like would do anything for us, you know what I'm saying? So it's just really hard. Oh! But you know what I was thinking about today? I was thinking about when I get to heaven, I was just like, I wonder if we'll still like be reproducing when we get to heaven, but wouldn't it be so cool if like, you get to see every generation of your kids, 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 kids. You know what I'm saying? You get to like really be there for that and you get to see all the people that, I just, I can't wait. I just can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay. We'll be on a pot. Put it over here on the stove. I feel like most of the stuff was all of my little stuff that I had in the kitchen at our last place. So I feel like a good way to just like, configure it is right back in the same type of like placement like i'm probably just gonna put some little things on the shelves here and there i already put you all can't really see it's like all the way up in the corner over there but this little cranberry plant i'm even missing my christmas shaped cutting board like where is my stuff where is my stuff because one thing about it i'm about to cry don't get me started okay i don't really care for this candle to be here, I have just put it here. I want this to be somewhere safe out of children's reach. And honestly, I mean, I want the decor to be cute, but I saw somebody in there on my TikTok and they were like, I wanna have like a nostalgic Christmas where it's like all the reds and the greens and the, just like the colors of Christmas instead of like a neutral Christmas. I feel like as my mom, it's my duty to give the holiday vibes. Okay, if I had an aesthetic time for Christmas, it's over. It's over. Letters to Santa. I'm just gonna play around with this stuff. I don't really know where the permanent place for it's gonna be because now I like, I don't have a piece of Christmas decor to go up on my shelves. I know, and I feel like I really didn't have too, too much last year, but I just know for certain it was more than this. Like, I'm about to go back and watch an old vlog or something because it just ain't no way. It just ain't no way. Wow. I think I'm gonna get some command hook strips and hang this right here. I think it'll be cute. 
What do we think? What? Just like kind of hanging here? My scarf is coming off. Okay. I really didn't tie that on tight enough. What do we do? What would you do for a Klondike bar? Forget the little decor. We'll go to Target. It'll be all right. We'll go to Home Goods. We'll do what we need to do to make it magical in here. Just, you know, a little bit festive. I, I feel like I'm very much minimal decor esque. Like, it's not, you know, it's just giving, when you walk into my house, you know what time it, you know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be over the top, but you know it's a Christmas. Like, you knew it was fall. It was giving fall vibes. A little pumpkin here. Well, you know, but she's not overdoing it. So, anyways, let me get this. The good thing. Oh, oh. Is it supposed to be easy to assemble? Because you don't have to search for the lights to put them on. And it has a remote control. I believe. I'm not gonna open up my other trees until I have some emotional support because it might be a spider in there and who? Me, I should put on some Christmas pajamas to really fit the vibe, but I have on these ones I got. I don't know, I can't remember what the brand is, but they're comfortable. It's giving like moo moo, but a two piece vibe. I got, I had my tree stand somewhere. This is the top. This is the bottom. It's supposed to like just fall out too, like just whoosh. Maybe I should keep it tied up. I'm gonna put the stand on there. It's so hot in here because the AC is not on. I should be able to blast my AC and turn the fireplace on for fun to give the vibe. And it's not vibing. It's not vibing right now. Okay, I heard you gotta put this. So I'm putting it in the pot. So I heard you gotta go like this first and then spray it out. I just don't know what pieces the bottom. Can, can I just make this simple? And, where's the labels? There's a C on that one. Okay, A. Okay, take this off. I should have never untied it. Crap. that the girls do on the internet it is a flop i don't understand i don't understand only the girls on tiktok they just put their tree in there and just boom it was just boom why does mine look like that you know what i'm getting sick of this i'm getting sick of this I just don't feel like it's supposed to look that. I mean, I could probably fluff it out a bit. Where's the remote? Because she was not in the box. Girl, I don't do returns. So I'm going to need the remote. Boom. What do I have to do? Shake the tree to find the remotes? I actually think this is really cute right here. If I can figure out this whole pot situation, to be a vibe. I want a new dining room table so bad. My excuse was I'm gonna get one because it's gonna be Thanksgiving, but I'm not hosting Thanksgiving at my house. So I was like, girl, you're just doing too much. Just wait. Whatever. Whatever. Where is the remote? Here's the little sign for the remote, but where is the remote? Oh, it's got little, a little footstep too. I genuinely don't see the remote. <laughs> I was about to get mad, y'all. I'm not gonna get I was gonna get mad. <laughs> I was gonna say, we can just wrap it on up and just call it a night because I want this to be fun and I do want it to be fun. I don't want to be stressed out about Christmas or sad about Christmas. It 
comes with batteries. I just wanna plug it in just to see what it looks like. I'm gonna like fluff out the end so it doesn't look like it's like, you know, like coming out that awkwardly. I want it to look like it's just like naturally supposed to be sitting in there. <sighs> it's Christmas. Okay, how to activate your remote control. Press the light show and the play button at the same time. Oh, no works. Okay, hold on one second. Good morning. It is a Tuesday and what other place would we be other than Target? We're about to go into Target just to browse around at the Christmas decor and then we're also close by Crate and Barrel and Pottery Barn so I might pop in there too. I don't know. Let's see. But I just want to get a couple of things and like some ornaments and stuff because the kids really want to like decorate the tree. We, basically, we have a lot of stuff to do but I'm honestly just like going with the flow at this point. Like whatever happens, happens. Because I still need to get groceries but Instacart be scamming so it's like I think I'm going to go back to doing Kroger delivery. And I'm going to just like do two carts and see if they're the same or if they're one is less expensive or not. Anyways, I might just place a little Kroger delivery or I can always do pickup. Too. but going in the store to actually grocery shop i'm sorry i'm just you're they're not gonna convince me to do that ever again it's just not gonna it's just not gonna <laughs> ah. but okay let's head out let's get a breath oh breath mint first i have on this really cute skim set it's really giving coke about a body mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. I don't know the song, but okay. Be so for real. They didn't have nothing in there. I can show y'all everything I got right now. Two mini trees, cause I'm gonna put them in my room. They didn't even have the sheets. They didn't have anything in here. I'm so disappointed, like not an ornament, nothing. Did I miss the Christmas? Listen, y'all be too much. No, ain't no way. I'm about to head over to Crate and Barrel and Pottery Barn and see what they have out. And we need a little ornament. We need a little decorum. We need a little zomp. A little, but I honestly just I feel like it's hard to shop for Christmas decor too because like first of all I don't have a theme which I was like thinking in Target and I was like okay maybe you just need to like slow down and go back to the drawing board because what color do you want is it giving I don't know I don't know what it's giving <laughs> ah! all right anyways next stop Crate and Barrel Pottery Barn they're close together so I'm probably just park in the middle and no, that's a lie. So okay, girl. Okay, 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 okay. I don't remember if it's left or right. Maps. Crate and barrel. And they're closed because it's eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Lovely. We're about to just wrap it up and go home. It doesn't even say opening soon. They open at ten. What about Pottery Barn? Closed. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, because what am I gonna do till 10 o'clock? Absolutely nothing. Alright, we're going back to the crib to um regather our thoughts, apparently. <laughs> Alright, we made it back home. I think we're gonna go by Pottery Barn and Crate and Barrel like after we finish up this, but I just like, I wanted to do my maintenance um, so I can stop walking around looking crazy. So I did my nails off camera. The This is the brand that I use though. This is the only kind that I really, really just like. I mean, they're like super sturdy. Uh, the brand Ollie, what is the 
Olive and June also has some if you want to like pick them up in the store that I like. But I get these off of Amazon and this is what they look like. They come in a whole bunch of different oh, chrome colors. But I like the shape, the length, and everything on me. So these are my go-to. But I did them off camera because my nails are a hot mess and I didn't want to be embarrassed. So yeah. You know what? I never got a brow lamination kit and I wanted to do laminate my brows but I guess I only got lashes so we're just gonna do my lashes today we're gonna attempt to do a little at home DIY lash I still have some old lashes on my lashes but I probably don't know how to curl my lashes properly they said curling your lashes is optional but I just wanted to I'm not really convinced that did anything but okay sure they say you could like that they you gotta get the good the good curling iron eyelash curlers these are the lashes i'm gonna use i went on a little tiktok um search and everybody said these lash clusters was good i don't know i'm trying to see what the name b and q lashes i don't know let me get some tweezers it's been so long since I've done my own lashes. I also got this bond and seal. It's not the... It's not the Falscara one. It was another one on there that has good reviews and it looked similar. So I just got this one instead. But I think you're supposed to just put the bond on first. I don't know what size lashes I want to do. I think I'm going to start... Shh. I think I'm going to do like 12, 12, 10, 8. Let's just see, girl. Okay, hold on now because my natural lashes are getting long. I'm gonna just do tins and see what, what it looks like. I don't even know if I can do this anymore. <laughs> I feel like the tin is gonna be short, but you know, it's our first time doing it, so I think y'all can see me. Okay. I feel like I gotta move quickly or the glue is gonna dry. Well, there's these straggling lashes that are <laughs> stuck in there. Okay, I think I have room for like two more. Okay, period. I'm gonna do a eight in the corner. I need some more bond right there. And these little bitty lashes I have in the corner. Let's see. I don't know how I feel. I feel like they look, I just don't want them to look like strip lashes because that's not the vibe that I'm going for. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna just seal it in, do the other side, and then see how we feel. This first one right here is not secure. I feel like I need that lash clamper thing to like get it on there a little bit more. Okay, I think these have potential. Let's do the other side and see. I just used, tens and eights i'm praying that this one in the corner stays on because it's low-key obstructing my vision and then i also got the overnighter to put on there because everybody was like that's what makes it really last i don't know i don't think this is going to be like an all the time thing i just really don't i don't want to go to the nail i mean the nail shop the get my lashes done and sit for two hours for a new set right now like it's just not something that i just am interested in doing at the moment I can't see. So. <laughs> I feel like I can't really see. So. We're gonna see how long this lasts. I don't think the actual like. Not that I'm all up on y'all. But I think the actual style of them. Is cute. And it took me five minutes, like, be so serious. We love, we love that. But I'll have to probably just play around and practice a little bit more. I might get some, like, smaller clusters or cut these clusters in half. Because I just think these are a little bit too large. And it gives more of, like, that heavy liner. Oh. <laughs> I just think it gives more of, like, that liner look. And if you like volume lashes, then I think, 
like these are cute but i'm more of like a wispy natural type of vibe i don't know i think i'm gonna have to take this eye off because it's just making me see funny i'm like do i need to adjust do i need to see see i always be trying to do it myself yeah book me an appointment forget about everything i just said book me an appointment i'm just gonna take a nap it's just hard for me to get comfortable on lash chairs and like i don't like falling asleep because laying on your back i don't know it just like is a weird sleeping position for me because i don't sleep on my back so i just don't really like laying there for like two hours i gotta find somebody's two hour vlog to watch on youtube and just go thug it out i mean it's cute for today it's giving i don't know what it's giving honestly but at least i tried at least i tried and at least i have them just in case but i'm about to go book an appointment with this baby no don't worry about it dang i really wanted to eliminate my brows too oh i need to do them first anyways but i want to get them i don't want to razor them because look i have a little i got a little cup with a little pimple right here this one has, uh, uh, put one of my star patches on i really thought we was just gonna really get into some like home maintenance but i'm not about to sit here and tweeze every single eyebrow hair that's out off because ow first of all it's gonna hurt mm -mm. i should go get them waxed i'll probably just get them waxed the next time i go to the nail shop i don't really I'm not really too particular about anybody waxing my eyebrows. Okay, well. Okay, well, I guess that's all we're going to do for now. I'm going to head back out the house. I'm going to go downstairs and do a little bit of work for a little bit. And then probably leave because it's like 1045. I just thought I would be decorating for Christmas or something, you know, a little bit more fun. But the week is clearly not going as planned, so... That's all right. We shall reconvene once I figure out what's going on. Just had to come on here and tell y'all I am not with Instacart anymore. They do be charging. I just went on Kroger and did the same order that like I normally do, like our breakfast stuff, a couple little snacks for the kids' lunch, and it was literally like two hundred dollars cheaper. I'm not even exaggerating. Usually when I check out on like Instacart, it's like three hundred something. Sorry, I'll look crooked. It's like three hundred something dollars. Kroger, 167. Yeah. <laughs> they can count their days. Well, I say I'll never use Instacart ever again. Probably not because Kroger does have the delivery service, but other stores don't have the same thing. But yeah, baby, no. I'm going to have to take these off. Ugh. Dang, I was sad. I just put them on, but they really easy. Well, it's going to be cute and go to... Panera or Kava. But then I decided no. I'm gonna have noodles because I wanted like pasta anyways. And Panera doesn't have their tortellini alfredo anymore. Who said they could do that? They don't even grind in my gears when they be taking stuff off the menu. All of my favorite stuff off of like all the menus at every single place is gone. McDonald's, they had a they had the best chicken biscuit in the morning it was like southern style i don't know what it is but it was addicting i used to eat them every day before i go to school in high school took them off the menu what else they took off the menu in mcdonald's there's something else anyways panera took away their chicken tortellini alfredo that was fire literally fire bring it back do i have an influence now? bring back the chicken <laughs> shrimp ramen it is I think it's so funny that I'll eat shrimp flavored noodles, but I don't like shrimp. Oh, this is what I got from Target. I thought these would be cute because I kind of want to decorate my room or just like get a little sheet set that because like my duvet is white. So just like get some sheets that have like a little Christmas pattern and then I can put these on my nightstand. So I got two of these, but it was like in Target, it was just like like they had a lot of stuff but it was like the same thing like it was just these type of trees in different sizes different colors and they had all those white ceramic or glass trees and then the kids were drinking out of their santa cups from last year and i realized Mello didn't have one so i picked him up a little cup it's got the black santa on it and then i also got them these ones with a the little tree 
so yeah i got three of these one missing one of these tops and i was thinking about just stealing it from target like just taking it off the cut but i was like let me not let me not start but okay girl i'm gonna see you at the store probably i don't know if i'm gonna take these lashes off and i'm like Ooh. they're not bothering me so bad it's only like when i look certain directions i can see the lash it's really driving me nuts but I was trying to wait for my video to load because I'm supposed to be going live with the video. I had really already had it up, but it, for some reason it was like cropped and it wasn't like full screen. And I was like, oh, this is going to drive me nuts. So I was like, let me resave it for the girls. I'm getting a new computer soon. So like the long time uploads thing shouldn't be a problem. Because really, I really always have my stuff done and ready on time. Like it's never that I'm like, oh, I procrastinate. I mean, sometimes I do, but I get it done before I'm supposed to post. But my computer is just really slow. It just processes 4K slow. So I got an actual macbook but it won't be here probably till december all right i'm gonna fill my cup up and head out I find why i gave you why you need me i know what you like i feel it for me I try to need you, but I need some last I need to give it all. I got to live for I thought. I don't know why you're the one. Join me out of my mind. We may or may not have just did the full in Pottery Barn, but it's okay. Because we're going to go to Crane Barrel too. Like what? We got to get all the new Christmas decor. Huh. But the ladies in there were super sweet. And yeah. Found some good stuff. Got like a little quilt for my room to give Christmas vibes. And then I got some cute ornaments as like... De decorations and then I'm gonna go over to Crate and Barrel and try to fill it, find some like more simple filler ornaments so that's where we're headed Crate and Barrel's right across the street I low-key wish I could just reverse all the way back into the parking lot because can I? Intellectual murder people edition Kakam fire full of gun like Remington Fully charged up He got to kill a man at the young For me young pussy run up with your ass Rip your like I'm not dead The muscle fighting at the middle of the night You make the place get nice up You never know what's here Look at top and I could have run in a yard And take a tree pines in I believe in Panelli and in a straight up And I'm in the name of the man at Jesus Christ Yeah, I make him run, I make him out I make him sleep even now It's more here that she went Now I think I'm fine you must be sick And I'm 17, I jump in at this 45 feet, me can't hit, now I miss Me think I'm all swift, me gun them now stick Cause we come in them sick It's me Coming up till two of them up in at this 45 feet, me can't hit, now I miss Me think I'm all swift, me gun them now stick I don't feel bad because I already did all the Christmas shopping for the kids So I don't feel, I don't feel bad We're back if y'all could see the boxes on the floor, you'd be shaking your head at me. But we had, we had to do it. We had to do it because we didn't have anything. Okay, thank you. So anyways, I'm about to do a little haul before I have to go pick up the boys. The, mm, uh, the grass is getting mowed right now though. So if you hear that in the background, I deeply apologize. Let's focus on the good stuff, okay? Okay, let's start with Pottery Barn. How cute is this? I got um, a little Santa hat. If you don't know, Pottery Barn is who has all of the like different character shaped pillows that i had last year so this year they had a girl gingerbread so i got her and then i also got this little bear i thought it was cute i think the kids would really like it all this stuff is just gonna gonna go on the couch and i decided to just stick with the traditional colors and theme and just like a homey christmas vibe nothing too aesthetic or overthought just i got like random ornaments nothing cohesive like 
it, we might not like it. I don't know, but we'll see. I think it'll be fine. And then I got these little candles. They're like the no wick candles, but I got four of these to put up. I'm just gonna lay everything out on this main counter right here. And then Aaron's mom's gonna be here. And then my mom said she was coming even though we were all supposed to get together earlier this week, but I didn't even have anything. So I'm glad nobody ended up coming anyways, because yeah. So now we have some stuff back there. Okay. I feel like stockings was the hardest decision because you don't really see me that well over here. I just wanted to put y'all on the shelf, but I know the lighting is not that great, but the angle over here is low anyways i feel like stockings are the hardest decision and we had like custom-made stockings i'm kind of sad about that didn't make it so i got these i was gonna mix and match and do different ones but i was like nah because i might really regret that stockings i feel like we can always interchange it's not like a forever you know thing you can get new stockings and i might get them embroidered too or use my cricut and like put our names on it okay i got a whole bunch of different ornaments I just got like one of each of like the just kind of like unique ornaments if you would say like just you know stuff that's like giving your mom's had these for like 20 years I don't know like that's just the vibe I'm going for I think the last couple years I tried to like have some type of aesthetic neutrals golds whites but I'm just really over it not that I don't think it's cute I think it's super cute to look at very aesthetic for like Pinterest, social media, you know, but this is what I decided to do this year. Got just like different mixed match ones because the tree that we have that I'm thinking we're going to decorate is not that big. So I don't know which one I'm going to put these ornaments on yet because I have the little tree that we put up yesterday that's over here in the dining room. But then we also have, what was I going to say? We also have another tree that we're going to put up in the office, which is be like the tree with all the gifts under it. Because I don't really want to try to cram the gifts by the dining table unless I push the table down, which I don't really want to do that either. I really want two trees on both sides. Now that would be a vibe. Now that I'm sitting here looking at it, it would just be more balanced. Don't let see me and ideas, we don't go, we don't go together because they'd be pricey anyways i thought this was so cute i want to spray it with something though because it's like already shedding but it's like red with little crystals on it it's like ice then i got a pack of just like red ornaments for the rest of the ornaments how cute i got a little santa i wish he was black but he wasn't so it's okay this is so cute it's like a little car with the tree on top little reindeer carrying all of the stuff jingle 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 and he has jingle bells i have some jingle bells too that i didn't use last year little reindeer i think i'm gonna do like no decorations on these trees because i think and i'm convinced i'm gonna get another one of these trees and a little pot for it to go in over here on this side of the dining room table because it just having that one over there just looks awkward like when it was the fall tree it was like kind of balanced because the tree branches were like but this is just like very vertical so but i think i'm an interior designer we got a peppermint one or candy cane whatever you want to call it i think this is the santa mug i got this for Aaron. i thought this was cute a little black santa because i already have a lot of christmas mugs and like cups and stuff i didn't need to get any more mugs to see Oh, this is Santa stuck in the chimney. They're all relatively light too. I know they're fragile, so I definitely don't want them to be in a high traffic area of a tree. So I think the, like these are gonna go on the one in the office. And then we've got this polar bear guy on skates. I just like that vintage kind of like older feel because I feel like that never really goes out of style. A lot of the new like modern things like the trends just come and they go but i feel like if you stick with the classics then it'll always be around this is the only one i was like mm, i don't know it's a little bit but it's cute it's like a little tree with the presents underneath it i think we got one oh. two more things from 
Pottery Barn. Two more bags. Oh, I got a set of houses. So they're the different assorted sizes. Some of them are in boxes, so I'll have to unbox them in a second. This is so freaking cute, you guys. It's a it's a ornament candle. And it smells like peppermint. I'm like, oh, it's literally so cute. It can like go right by the sink where my pumpkin candle was. I thought about getting some more. They had them in like mini sizes, but I was like, girl, don't start doing too much. I'm really going to save all of these paper too so that I can rewrap this stuff after the holidays and I don't have to buy foam wrap. This is another one of the pieces to the house. Oh, I lied. Now we have two more bags. But this is like bigger stuff. So I got this lovely red. I'm just like obsessed with the red color this year. I don't know, like the cherry is just doing something for me. But I got this to go on the couch. And then this is the peppermint pillow that I got. I didn't get the candy cane, candy cane shaped one this year because it just like sits really awkwardly on the couch and it just didn't really give me the vibe I was looking for anyways. So I got that and then I have some pillows from last year that were green, but I got like the covers that are red that say Mary on them. I actually saw this on somebody's TikTok like last night and I was like, those are really cute. I wonder where they're from. Of course they're from Pottery Barn. Hello. The last thing I got was this quilt to go on my bed. You know, now that I think about it, I have the green pillows and they could definitely go with this quilt on my bed as my throws. So I might need to get two more inserts for these. It's like a Christmas tree. You guys will see, we'll put it on my bed. I just wanted something to give like the holiday cozy vibes in my room. Nothing like too much, but just a little. I didn't get to find the sheets at Target. So I was like, this is good. I can just throw it on top of my duvet, throw some green accent pillows. I'll have my little trees on the nightstand and then my bedroom is supposed to be coming this month that's everything i got from pottery barn now well actually i just want to go ahead and put all of this stuff out so that we can just start the decorations this is another one of the houses i tried to get bigger pieces because whenever i like all my little stuff just looks too small like on the shelves and stuff in the house over here by the tv so i wanted to get things that were like bigger so cute anyways oh that's what i was saying when i forgot what i was saying earlier i had these like things from used to on the blower right by the door so i'm like on but anyways for the third time like i was saying they i had got these little things that sit on shelves so you can hang your stockings because i don't have a mantle above the fireplace and they would hang too low even if I did like put a little shelf or command hook strip right there. But they're cute. They're like gold plated and they have like a little hook on them and you just set them on the shelf and then you can put the stockings up. So I'm going to have to, I wonder if Target has or Amazon because I got to get the gift wrapping stuff from Amazon anyways. I need to find wrapping paper too. I didn't really see any that I liked. Um, see they look like this the ones i had were really nice though so i'm kind of sad but they basically look like these this the ones i got from pottery barn last year were like very thin and sleek but i'm not about to spend money again it is what it is which i need to kind of think about that right now because i don't know which side i want to do the stockings on because now we oh sorry now we're not like even with the amount of people in the family like it's five of us does that mean we need to have another one so it can be like three, three, six? I can't convince myself to have another kid because I feel like Mello was already pushing it. Like he was already pushing it. Probably do like me and Aaron's and then Carter, Carson, Mello on the middle shelves over here. I wonder if Target, I was wondering if Target had them because I want them right now because I feel like that's going to determine like how low they hang. It's going to determine like what I put on the bottom shelves. So let's look at Target and see. Oh, they do have it. But I don't, I don't know. I feel like this is a lot for, to have five snowflakes. They have like these little snowflakes at Target. Five snowflakes might be a little bit much. They have black ones. I wonder if they have the golden stock. Oh, they do have some golden stock. Or they're like, yeah. 
okay. And it comes in a two pack for $7. It's cheaper than Amazon. I'm gonna just get it in a drive up. Leave here a little bit earlier before I pick up the kids. I've been driving all around town today. He comes at the most inconvenient times, I'll tell you. We're done with the, I mean, we're gonna have to move a little bit, honestly, cause we got, we got limited time now, but the grass is not being mowed anymore. I'm just put y'all right here. So I can just open it up really fast and then set it on this side of the counter that's not heavily cropped it. We didn't get as much from Crate and Barrel. This is not the only thing, but we didn't get as much. Uh, okay, I got these little ornaments I thought were super cute for the kids. Um, I got a cardinal because that's the bird of St. Louis and that's where they daddy from. So anyways, and then they had like this little Santa Claus with the beard. Sorry, it's not. I need to put the product focus on. They had a little penguin. And then this cute little polar bear. And they all have like the little string to hang on. And then I got a snowman and a little turtle. But I thought these would just be cute for the, like the kids would enjoy them. Got some more ornaments. I did decide I'm gonna do, do double the trees and order another little pot from Crate and Barrel to put on the other side. Only thing about ordering another pot is just like, I guess I'll just use it in my room, but I was gonna say like, what am I gonna put? Oh, these are so cute. They're super heavy. They're glass blown ornaments. Let me put this stuff up here. I'm gonna move y'all because I feel like you're just like too low. All my boobs and stuff. Like girl, we don't need to be all up in the chest. Oh, this one I got, it's like a snow globe that's kind of um, opened, super cute. I also got the glass ones in green. I got two of each of those. I just thought they would be cute. Again, I just wanted like a lot of different assortments of things. Red one, super cute. They're really like kind of heavy. This is another ornament. I saw these online. So I was super excited when I saw them in the store. They look kind of black at first glance, but they're green and they're glass blown. And I feel like a lot of the other stuff that I got had a lot of red accents in it. So I just got these in green. They also had them in red and like a cream color. They're very light, but they're all just different shapes. It's like a little five pack. I'm really gonna keep this box every time I go online it's always just seeing something that makes sense to me that I need so it's like this little ornament thing that you can um, store your ornaments in and I'm definitely getting it after Christmas because ain't no way I'm losing this ever again I'm like okay I don't know really violent <gasps> uh, okay this is garland i got two of these i got four garlands in total but i got two of these they have like pine cones weaved in them and then they have um a place for batteries which i was like that's perfect so you can light them up and i just really think it'll like give a little vibe in here and i'm either gonna put these i got two like one for over here and then i also got two to put in the kitchen on the back of the counter let's see what's in here it's just like the closest thing to me other one it doesn't have the pine cones on it. It's a little bit darker, but it also has the place where you can put the batteries so you can light it up. And I honestly think it's gonna be such a vibe. Anyways, like I said, we got two of these, two of these, one of these, three of those. And then I think I'm gonna hang like a wreath in the middle window right here. It's really coming together. Everything is coming together. I gotta set this one up here. I got some white trees, but I got white because I got, what is that? Is that my camera that broke? My camera is broken. Shut up. When did that happen? Just right now? 
what was that did y'all see that it was like a glitch on the screen oh i'm tripping it's literally the edge of this box but the way it was reflecting it looked like i don't know if you've ever had a camera that's cracked and the screen looks cracked and it's kind of like got those edges and then like kind of goes white i was about to say man say man say man okay anyways i got the white because i'm gonna put them like weaved into the garland over here on the shelf so it'll like still have like a little pop of color i got these little cute snowman i got them in two sizes cute these marble green or stone some type of stone christmas trees i got a big one oh and i got a little one i'm sweating i wish the ac was working so yeah that's everything that we got oh i need to breeze the fan is on in here holy moly Oh, what fun it is to have one horse open sleigh. Yay! I was going to say, should I start decorating? But I have like 15 minutes. I'm not about to do that. I'm going to just wait and clean up all the boxes in the trash. But yeah, that's an overview of like everything that we got. Um, the only thing that we're probably not going to be able to do today is... Oh. Well, I don't know. I ordered those things in a drive up from Target and then I also got the tree that's right here. This is the Home Depot tree. It's sold out. So I got one from Target that looks really similar. It does like the same type of like light light show kind of thing. It was the closest thing I could find and it was a slim seven foot. So it's not going to be exactly the same, but asymmetry is supposed to be good in design anyways. Like it's supposed to anyways but i won't have the pot probably for a while unless i go back to crate and barrel it and put it in the trunk but i really got to clear out my trunk because i also i did an impulse buy there's something on sale at target that i've really been wanting for right here it's like a little entryway table and i got it so that's my problem like i can't go shopping and then just do a little bit i'd be doing too much don't always leave the house but i am really grateful that i was able to re-up on my christmas stuff see it'd be this type of stuff on 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 amazon like what now i feel like i need that because why is that so smart and practical but also why do we keep coming up with no shit like just put it in the van oh my gosh i was about to do because i gotta leave in 10 minutes i said i was gonna clean up but <laughs> it doesn't look like that's gonna happen well girl that's all I got for right now. I feel like I was low-key a lot anyways. So we... I need to put some pictures in these picture frames before Christmas. I just don't know what pictures to put in there because we don't have any cute professional photos with everybody in them. Like we have the cutest pictures professionally that we have is on my maternity shoot when I was pregnant with Mello. And I might put one of those in there, but I don't want to have a whole bunch of photos where Mello's not in them. So we need to go take pictures. It's giving Christmas card. <laughs> Ew, I don't know what that was. I was trying to stick out my tongue, but then it just like did not come out very naturally. This is what the blanket looks like that I got just in case anybody was curious. I was looking at it online and they had it in the store. I'm gonna have to go back and get the inserts. So yeah, I'm gonna just, when my mom comes over here, I'm gonna just go back to where I was at, pick up my Target order and then run across and get some inserts from Pottery Barn. Because now that I think about it, I want my green pillows. So I need to get new inserts. All right, girl, I'm gonna see you when we start decorating for Christmas.
Good morning. It is Wednesday and we finished kind of decorating. We still got like a few more adjustments to make, but I'm going to show you guys like an overview once I get the house picked up because I need to like fold the laundry and just like clean up a few things and stuff. But yeah, the tree is super cute. We're going to move it around, I think a little bit, just like rearrange, but we'll do that today. But Mello, he's homesick. We had the worst night I've ever had with a child ever in my life. I thought I was going to literally go mentally insane <laughs> because, let me put y'all down. He was up every 30 minutes and I was like, oh my God, what is going on? I gave him Tylenol, like we're, we're up. I'm like, okay, like what's the vibe? Like, I, I don't know. Cause at first I thought he was his teeth cause he didn't have a fever. So I was like, maybe he's just getting like these last two little molars in at the bottom. I don't know. But then he started like tooting and I was like, okay, maybe he has gas. And I think that his belly is hurting. So he hasn't gone number two yet last night or today so if he doesn't go by like a, a couple more hours i'm probably gonna get him like some baby miralax or something because he doesn't have a fever it's so i'm assuming it's just his stomach and he keeps having gas so and then he was also crying a lot so he kept burping so i'm like i know there's air like somewhere up in there <sighs> but yeah girl uh, I told y'all my beard's gonna start in five days. Why did I start getting a whole bunch of new breakouts? I'm like, I thought the meds was working. I thought it was supposed to counteract that. No, it's also really hot in here. So I don't know if that's another reason why he couldn't sleep because it's so hot since though we don't have any AC, but we're supposed to be getting the surge protectors put on. Like there already was a surge protector, but on the backup generator, we're getting two surgers. Um, so that hopefully this doesn't keep happening and then the AC is probably not gonna get fixed till Friday But there's gonna be a cold front tomorrow, but we're going on the field trip tomorrow Which is why I need mellow to get better immediately because I want to go on the field trip with Carter and I don't want to miss out on that So I'm really just praying that he feels better after today and he can just go back to school tomorrow I didn't want to send him today because he didn't sleep and it just doesn't feel good So I didn't want to like force him to go to school. So but yeah, I asked if I could go on the field trip. I was like, hey girl, I know I'm not a chaperone. Shade. Um, no, I'm kidding. But can I go on the field trip? And she was like, yeah, as long as you have your background checked and stuff done. And you'll just have to like pay for yourself to get in. And I was like, oh, say less. Bet, 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 bet. So I probably won't be able to film because I just think that would be a weird like with this, the school and stuff like that. But I'll probably t like take little pictures and little clips here and there because it's supposed to be like this really fun activity. But yeah, I didn't want nothing. I was just giving y'all a little rundown of the day. We gotta go up, pick up the rest of the stuff to hang the stockings from Target in a little bit. But I just wanna get cleaned up and get the house semi put together. I need to put this. Where did he go? Sir, what are you doing? You supposed to be on the couch, bicking back, booing. If you just want to be up under me, just say that. I can't see you when you walk up that close. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. Say, I'm skipping school. We don't know why. I don't know. Oh, don't know why. Yeah, say, I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay. No, that's breakable. Let's go back in here. We don't need nothing in mom's office. Yeah, oh, look, look what I got. My kids are always losing the freaking remotes. So I got this little thing to put on the back of the remote so they don't get lost. And I got one right here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on. Yes, Juju book. Okay, now the trick is to not lose this remote. It's got a little stand. 
I'm gonna keep it in my office probably. And then I'm assuming you just I don't know how they stick. There's some sticky stuff. Comes with batteries included per. He's been watching this Miss Rachel Christmas episode like a thousand times. Why is this difficult? Anyways, I'll do it later. Not interested in fighting for my life right now. I'm exhausted. When I tell you up every 30 minutes, he was literally up every 30 minutes and he didn't even fall asleep the first time until midnight. Yeah, it was rough. Ooh, I need to go take my meds, my meds, my meds. Oh. I think I'm gonna try to get on doxicillin as well as spironolactone because I heard the two go together really well and it'll really help like, because the spironolactone is like, it was working, but it's not like, I don't think the dose is strong enough because now that I'm about to be on my period and my hormones are like probably shifting again, it's not, it's not working. Yes, Juju bug. You're gonna have to go sit down. Go sit down. That doesn't go in there, thank you. Oh, I got groceries yesterday and I didn't get to finish putting them away because we were busy Christmasing. So let me show y'all what we got. You want some fruit? You gotta go sit at the table. You want it? Mom? Mom? Let's go sit at the table. He is quite literally the most impatient child ever. Okay. We got apple juice for Carter's lunch. I got these Spider Man macaroni, but I didn't realize it was by the brand Annie's. Carter's probably not going to eat it. I don't know why, they just really don't like the Annie's macaroni and cheese. <sighs> but that's what he got for lunch today. We got some Sunny B beef shrimp noodles. Salt and vinegar chips. I opened these up because I put some in Carter's lunch. Artisan's bread, they got smushed. Every time I get a delivery order from the grocery store and a man brings it, there is always something discombobulated about the order. I mean, I'm not a man hater. I love men. We need men. I for the men, okay? But grocery shopping, get it together. Wrap it up. Some more marshmallows, because lately the kids have just been obsessed with eating marshmallows. I got this for myself. I'm not gonna lie. This stuff right here is like, black. it's so addictive. It's just like buttery. I don't know how to explain. It's just the right amount of everything I got. I got Ritz crackers for Carter's lunch because we've been really just trying to work on what we pack for lunch because he does not eat anything he's so picky so he eats the same thing so i'm like what else can you have in your lunch son he's like oh crackers the round ones i'm like okay that's a step i got these i'm gonna try them they're the sour cream and onion ritz those are pretty good pretty good Okay, I know it's nine o'clock in the morning and this is probably frowned upon and people are gonna be judging me, but I don't care. I only got one. They finally had it in stock. I'm gonna show you guys what else I got too, but hold on a moment for the cola poppy. I've never gotten to try it and I've been wanting to try it so bad. I also really like the cherry limeade one now. It's definitely one of my top three, but I got the limited edition. Get off me. Get off of me. Cranberry poppy for the season, but low key, I feel like the way that they marketed it and then put it out was so like you can only get it if you buy the variety pack. Like, just let me get the cranberry by itself. Doesn't make any sense. I didn't want ginger lime, girl. But did I get the whole pack? Yeah. So maybe their marketing strategy was I don't know. But I'm not gonna drink it. I'm gonna give it to like my mom or something. I mean, I might try it, but anyways, the point is all I wanted was the cranberry. So just sell it separately, please. We're about to taste it right now. Both of them, the cola and the cranberry. And you only get two cranberry. Like that's such a scam. I know I don't like grapes, so I'm not gonna drink the grapes. So I'll probably give it to Aaron's mom. And then there is cherry limeade in there. So anyways, I wanna try these two. I'm not gonna probably drink them all right now, but I don't care. I, I've been dying. 
to test these out, so. I'm gonna try the cranberry first. That's literally fire. This better be not just for the holiday season because it is genuinely amazing. I used to drink the sparkling cranberry ocean all the time, but I can never find it. It's like always out of stock. Okay, cola. I'm a, listen, I didn't used to be a Coke girly, but I can get down a little Coke. So let's see. Immediately not. It tastes just like the Olipop one, which I'm not a big fan of. Okay, well. I mean, I see how it could possibly satisfy a cola craving, but it's just not giving Coke. Like a nice, crisp, cracked open Coke. This, however, was real good. I'm gonna put both of them back in the fridge. Well, the thing I like about Poppy too is like you can put them back in the fridge and like they don't taste like super flat. If you leave them for days, yeah, but if like you just put them back in and drink them like later that day or the next day, they usually still have a little fizz. Okay, well, y'all, I am going to start with the fridge. The stuff that I got from the store is like same old, same old. I got chocolate milk, strawberries, blackberries, and just like our regular produce and stuff. But I put it in the fridge, but I need to clean out the fridge, so I didn't organize it. So I'm just going to start from this, like the kitchen area and kind of like work my way to the living room. And then once I get everything cleaned up, we'll go to Target, go pick up that drive up order and just go from there. It's Carter's early day because it's Wednesday. So we got to pick him up by two o'clock, which I'm sad because I really wanted to have like a day with Carson today because we're supposed to get our house clean today. But I was just like, girl, don't even worry about it. Like, don't worry about it. I was gonna take him to the trampoline park because I just feel like I never really gotten enough time to spend alone with Carson. Like me and Carter had our time alone, obviously because he's the firstborn before I had Carson. And then because he's older, I just have the opportunity to kind of like do more individual things with him. But I just realized like I don't really spend a lot of alone time with Carson. In the house we do, like me and him will watch movies like in my room together by ourselves some days on the weekends. I feel like he just gets like smushed in the middle and I do not want him to have a middle child experience. So I'm going to start like planning a little date day with him. Was my garage open the whole time? Yeah. Oh, I left. But I was like, who is coming out of the garage? Lord have mercy. I need a garter. Hey, man. Hey, Granny Boo Boo. Look at your eyes. They look so heavy. He didn't sleep all night. He's literally up every 30 minutes. I'm not exaggerating either. I mean, every 30 minutes the like entire night. Like I was like, oh, immediately now. Yeah. He wasn't warm last night, but I just gave him some Tylenol this morning. What is this? Okay, this is our wrapping stuff. For wrapping. <laughs> yeah. It's cute, but it just is in an awkward space. I don't. Yeah, we moved the. How did we end up having it yesterday? I can't remember if that's how we had it or how we left it. I think you went the wall. I know you said it's gonna be a space right there, but yeah, you know, it was a little space. Like wall, so when you look in, you can see it. Maybe you can find something else nice and Christmassy to put right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you can find something for that corner. I'm sure you have something here to go in that corner. Another yeah. tree? No, like some of the knickknacks with a stand. You know, some something Christmassy over in that corner. I'm sure you got mm. something. You just ain't, you got everything right there. No, that is everything. <laughs> All them boxes in the garage. What is that in the laundry room? Are those my Christmas things? That's their Christmas present. Oh, okay. I don't know. I was thinking, I was thinking about putting the chairs against this wall. Oh my goodness, really? <laughs> I mean, that don't look bad right there, but you definitely need something right there, right here. Cause it just it's, it's, it's crowded right crowded there. Yeah. I mean, it's not that wide. I think we just need to move now. 
Uh, girl, whatever. <laughs> There's no place for the tree. It definitely is. No, it's not. Go, 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 go. That's not going to fill up the space. I just feel like it looks awkward right here. Like, I feel like I don't have no choice but to just move the chairs and flip it around. Because that's the only way it's going to look halfway decent. Um, I need a vacuum in here, though. It's all dirty. Don't be mad at me. Because you're probably like, what happened? What happened? Anyways, I'm also whispering because the kids are asleep, so I'm trying to keep my voice down. It's way past my bedtime, but I want to be prepared for tomorrow because it's field trip day. So, I'm of course going to give you guys an update of the house. You're just going to have to hang on, okay? You're just going to have to hang in there. We're going to get to it, but that's basically all we did, really did today. Like, Aaron's mom came over, we went to lunch, but we like just kind of rearranged some things, organized. We still have a, look, a couple more things to do, and there's still some more cleaning to do. So it wasn't necessarily the most productive day, but you know, it was like a girl's day. So, it is ungodly hot in this house. But the AC is finally getting fixed tomorrow. They tried to tell me they wasn't gonna come till next week. I said, so you think I'm gonna have no heat, no cooling? When is the cold front on the way? And it's probably like 90 degrees in my house till next week? No, immediately no. She was like, okay, let me place you on hold. And she was like, yeah, we're gonna come tomorrow. I was like, yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> but seriously, because I was gonna activate my Karen. Let me speak to your manager because absolutely not. I'm very passive, but there are some things I'm just not going for. Oh, my hair is so nappy. I need to do my hair too before I go to bed. But anyways, I want to pick out an outfit to wear tomorrow. I got in a couple of new pieces and stuff, but I didn't really show you guys because I wanted to do like a little try on haul instead of just like holding it up. Also, I know I told y'all I was going to do like an Amazon show y'all everything. I don't know when that's going to happen, girl, but I promise I'm getting to it. But I want to stop just doing like an unboxing show. Like it just, you get the more feel and vibe of it if it's like actual try on or, you know, you, you get what I'm saying? Anyway, so, okay. With, with that being said, we need to find an outfit for the field trip tomorrow that we invited ourselves to. So it's gonna rain and be like in the 60s. So I'm thinking crew neck. I'm gonna just put it on, just see. Let's just see what the vibe is. I have two different vibes, okay? So crew neck is the first one. Just wait for it though, wait for it, okay. Then I got this really cute cropped leather jacket from Zara. to be cute i just don't very much giving cute up here i feel like the outfit has to match the current state of your appearance and this is literally how i'm gonna be looking tomorrow like i might lay my baby hairs but like no lashes eyebrows ain't done skin is a little bit of a mess so it's like i don't know i'll probably wear my hair up so it's not all over the place i need to stop putting my hair up because i'm pulling my it just went. Okay. Anyways. I wish it would stay open. Like this. Okay. So if you're giving like biker girl. I don't know. But I was going to pair it with black leggings. I'm not going to put them on right now because it's doing too much. But some black leggings. I feel like I need to put them on to really see the full effect. But like realistically, I'm not gonna wear the jacket the whole time. So then I'll just be wearing a crew neck and the leggings. I don't think this is gonna be the, the choice of the day. Okay, let me show you what my next option is. I just don't want like my butt to send up immediately. I don't want my butt to be out, okay? Cause I don't know. I feel like my butt's really been getting smaller. That's why I don't like losing weight. Everybody be like, why don't you go to the gym? You don't want to work out. Yeah, this this wagon I'm dragging, I'm trying to keep her, okay? And if you couldn't tell, she's all fat, 100%. And what do you burn when you go to the gym? Fat. 
quit playing with me. I'm not trying to lose my butt and rebuild it with like muscle man. No, thank you. You only gonna get a couple of little workouts from me. I tell you that much. I want to. That's why I'm. Just, I don't care. I'm sorry. I'm lazy. I'm gonna get lipo. If it really comes down to it, next summer and I'm not lipo and put some back in my. No, I'm kidding. But we'll get into that because I really want to talk about my breast lift and all of that. But I'm gonna wait a little bit to like maybe next month because it'll be a full year since I've got my boobs done. But I honestly wish I would have got the fat transfer. To my boobs but i got a lot of stuff that i want to talk about about that so anyways moving on the next option in the category is this waffle knit sweater <clears throat> i have this i think i showed these to y'all last week i have them in the gray a green and a neutral <clears throat> they're just a little bit more oversized so they cover up the back side and then I'll just like wear it like buttoned all the way up. But I feel like it's like light enough for me to be able to wear it inside without be, get, like getting too hot. But also like 65 degree. It's, you know, instead of wearing just like regular leggings. Is this the green one or the gray one? It's gray. Okay. I was going to wear these like jean jeggings from Halara. Because that, is that just getting like a little bit more of like a mom? vibe you know jeans instead of leggings i don't because i don't really want to wear black with this and i'm trying to think if i have some light colored leggings i can pair with this color i don't because i don't have any gray shoes either like i feel like if i could like do a little pop of gray on the bottom then it would be cute because it would be like a little bit more gray than just like all black but i was thinking about wearing black shoes it's getting it's, it's getting so many leather next year what i'm gonna do a personal stylist and interior designer don't worry about it don't worry about it i do have my gray shoes that are like my sneakers but it's hit or miss i don't want my feet to be crying hold on and then is it giving like a fanny pack moment i'll probably tighten it is that an, i feel like that's an awkward i want it right underneath my <laughs> I feel like I don't have it on correctly, but I don't know. Anyways, okay, maybe I just did it too short. I'll just do it longer. It's the fact that the highlight of my week is finding an outfit to do on my child's school field trip. One second. I think I'm probably just going to take this purse because it's the most comfortable for me to like wear because it's crossbody and then I can fit the most stuff in it and then i'm probably just gonna wear my gray seem like whitish sneakers that i have i don't really feel like it's giving it the fit unless i like open this up and maybe i can wear like a black shirt underneath of it so then i don't know it just adds like a little bit of something i don't really want to carry a purse at all to be honest when i go i was thinking about just taking like my phone but we're gonna be there all day so i was like let me just bring a purse i could put like a little skim stuff on i think this is the base of what we're gonna wear though so like cardigan these jean jeggings or a pair of black leggings it doesn't really matter carry this bag because it's easy to hold not gonna wear any jewelry i don't think because it's a field trip lay my baby hairs probably wear my hair and put a ponytail i was thinking about putting concealer on my face but i honestly probably won't because my face is like just like peeling so much because of the retinol which my esthetician said i wish i'm gonna tell her next time when she does my facial to not play music in the background so i can like let y'all hear what she says when she's doing it because she has really good like insightful information but there's a difference between like peeling and dry skin so sometimes i'll think my skin is really dry but it's actually just peeling from the retinol which are two different things like my skin's not actually dry but like i said it'll get like a little peely throughout the day so i don't want to have concealer on and then look like my face is coming off because i'm also going to be in a room around five and six year olds who are brutally honest and i just don't think my self-esteem could take a hit like that so i'm just gonna go there and hope for the best and probably wear my glasses my eyelids are dry though Okay, anyways, girl, I just wanted to have my little outfit picked out together. 
and come talk to y'all before I just awkwardly pop back in tomorrow. But we really didn't do anything today that eventful. We did go to Miko Cena's, which it was like a rushed like little lunch because it was Carter's half day. So we had to go like run, pick him up and then go <clears throat> eat. And then Aaron's mom had to be back to pick up her niece from school. So it was just, we was just ripping and running, up, running honestly. But I did get some cute new things in from Target and I've got everything in the places that I think I wanted to go as far as like the decor. We have one more tree left, which I can't decide if I'm going to put back in the garage or see if maybe Carter wants to put it in his room or something because Carson and Mello have a tree in their room. But I'll show you guys all of that. If not tomorrow, probably Friday, we'll just like kind of like wrap up all the house stuff and then start wrapping up presents because we're supposed to get the wrapping paper in tomorrow. I'm also supposed to possibly be going skating tomorrow. So that's what I'm saying. I don't know if we're going to do house stuff because by the time we come home from the field trip, bedtime routine and then i might go skating so we shall see but anyways okay <sighs> that was it that was all i just needed some moral support to, to pick an outfit out it really doesn't matter if i look cute but i didn't want to look like a complete bum you know i just zhuzh it up a little bit and i'm like trying to check like these are still like flexible enough to move in i can run in these Okay, just in case I need to catch a child. I don't know if I'm riding the bus either or if I'm driving. I think I'm gonna drive and just meet them there, but I'm getting ready to go to sleep. I just finished reading up my, reading up my, I cannot speak English clearly. I just, someone sent me back to school because it's getting bad. Anyways, I got a new Bible study book and I've been reading it at night. It's really something that I feel like is really good if you haven't like deep dived into the Bible yet. Even if you have, definitely still feel like it's a good book. But if you're a beginner and don't know really where to start in the Bible, I mean, I've given recommendations of like chapters I think you can start in and like read. But if you just want something that's a little bit more digestible, this is definitely a good option. It's the Good and Beautiful Bible Study. And so every day I basically do like a different chapter and i'll just give you all an example the one i did yesterday was the story of abigail so it's basically like the synopsis abigail is an overlooked hero who takes action against violence and saves the lives of many and then it gives the key moment which is the book of the bible in the chapter so it was first samuel 25 so it doesn't give you that exact text from the bible to read from first samuel 25 so i just go onto my bible app um, or you can open up your actual Bible, but this is just a little bit more convenient for me So I go onto my Bible app and then I will type in or search whatever the key moment is And then they also have an outline So then it's basically just like a summary of what you read and it kind of just helps you relate it back to like your everyday life and then after that It gives you like a little reflection page of how you can like um, like how do you see yourself in the story? How does it relate to you? Are there areas in your life that you can implement how, whatever the lesson is in that book to your life? And then there's a prayer at the end. And I got this off of Amazon. Anyways, yeah, that's it for my night. It's already late because it took me a minute to get Mellow down to bed. I'm interested to see how tonight's gonna go. And I had a little bit more energy to hop in because I took a nap earlier. I'm telling y'all, a naps are cracking the, like, that is everything that I could ever want and need is a nap. Because after a nap, I'm just so refreshed. Like, and sometimes you just gotta listen. Where were my kids while I was taking a nap? Nah, let me not play because I'm going to be like, oh my God. But Carter and Carson are old enough to like play independently. And I put the, the gate up on the stairs and then I had put Mello in his bed and turned Miss Rachel on and he ended up falling asleep. So I came in my room and I was like, I'm gonna take a nap. It took me a little cool hour and a half nap, recharged before it was time to do baths. And then it was like a really easy nighttime routine. After I got up, I took myself a quick little shower just so I could be ready for the bed. And then I put Mello, Carson and Carter in the shower. And then we ate dinner and we watched a movie and then we read a book and then they went to bed. And so Mello thought me to go to sleep because he wanted to watch TV, but I was like, no, we're not doing that tonight because we have an itinerary in the morning we gotta stick to. I gotta get gas in the morning. We gotta really have an early start because I gotta get gas in the morning. And the place that we're going to is like 30 minutes away. And I'm not gonna, I, I don't think I'm gonna ride the bus just because I don't wanna 
be stuck there in if something happened with my lower car so now i'd want to be able to leave like without having an uber or something so i'm just gonna drive but it's like a 30 minute drive so i'm gonna need starbucks for that um and i haven't had it all week so gonna get my little fix in the morning i said i was gonna edit a little bit tonight so i'm still trying to decide if i want to do that or not Good night. Sorry. I know y'all's expectations for this vlog is probably high because the last vlog was it was it was pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Throw a little razzle dazzle in there. I tried, um, but expectations are reality. Okay. <laughs> See you in the morning. Okay. I'm ready. Not much difference from last night, but Thursday. I decided to go with. Yep. Leggings, cardigan, and then I think I'm gonna wear my Uggs just because they're comfy. Mommy? To be determined, yeah. Could I have some of this Nutella on my tongue? Give it to me. Wait, I got it on the ground. It's gonna make your breakfast taste bad. Do you want it? What? It's gonna make your breakfast taste bad. Yeah, I want it. You wanna wait till we get in the car after we eat? No, we just, I want that. Okay. Are you supposed to just put it on your tongue? Mm-hmm. So I'm about to go get the rest of the boys ready for school. Ah. I don't know what shoes I want to wear just because I'm like, I don't know what looks right with this. And that was it. What? Oh, we got to go. So we make sure we're not running behind. And if I have to drive myself, that means we got to get gas. So. Come on. No? Mm hmm did you just already melt down? Yeah. A little bit. We need sunscreen and lip gloss and then we're done. Oops. I got some things for you, Mom. What does that say that you wrote on the board? Okay. It says... This is what? This, I said, this is from car. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love my mom. I'm helpful for her. I make her happy. I make her silly. I make her nice. Pray for her. I pray for my dad. I pray for my family. I pray for my birthday. I pray for everyone who loves me. I, pray, I don't pray for anyone else or strangers. <laughs> I love my mom and dad. I love my brothers. I love my family. I love, I love uh, my cousin, Daddy. Mm -hmm. I love my grandma. Mm -hmm. I love when she takes us at the park. Mm -hmm. I love when our mom lets us go play. Amen. Amen. Thank you, baby. That was so sweet. Yeah, I know. Mom, I even bought something for you. I put stickers on it. So this is Marshall, mm -hmm. and this is Rubble. Mm-hmm. Looks good. I like these stickers on there. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go get some jeans, okay? Okay. I'll put it right here in my drawer. Okay. Try me. Who you gonna love if you run by me? Ready? Too many twists and turns, twists and turns. Lot of way, twists and turns, twists and turns. Baby, come me, I don't fly, I get burned. Lot of way, twists and turns, twists and turns. Baby, come me, I don't fly, I get burned. They might have done a crazy eat. They might have need a license fee. Got your body at the tight and eat. Anybody who got eyes can't see She just wanna dance a tea She just wanna dance a tea Yeah, I bought that a lot She just wanna dance a tea She just wanna dance a tea She just wanna dance a tea Yeah Dance and tease You go like the Highland Bridge You know what you want and need Bend over, hug up and squeeze
Good morning. Happy Friday. We're on our way to a lash appointment. I cannot remember if I talked to y'all yesterday <laughs> or not, but if I didn't, the field trip was cool. It was a little overcrowded, I would say. Like the actual concept of the place is really cool. However, they just don't, in my opinion, run it very smoothly. Like it doesn't operate functionally. So there was like a ton of other schools there at the same time and the kids only ended up getting to do like one thing and it just was not like a productive time. Like they didn't really get to do a lot if that makes sense. So anyways, they had fun but they also had to wait in line for one thing for 45 minutes so it was interesting. But maybe one day we'll go back and take the kids. Today we are just having a girl's day I at the last minute was looking on this lash page to see if I could get my lashes done and they had an appointment today at nine o'clock so we're headed to get our lashes done here in the next like 10 minutes and then we're gonna run across the street to Trader Joe's and because I haven't been in there in so long and grab some new little foods to try out and then we're possibly going to get a pedicure as well all of the productive things that i need to be doing today i just kind of like mm, we'll get to it when we get to it the house is a mess i still want to wrap the christmas presents and i still haven't really shown you guys around the house of the christmas decor and stuff so coming it's it's coming we just need me a little bit you know i don't even know this week kind of just like went by in a blur like it started off cool and then it was like what's going on it was really because that wednesday Mello was sick just like the roomie for a loop and then we had the field trip all day yesterday so <sighs> yeah they're putting up the christmas lights how exciting uh, i should go to smoothie king and get a little smoothie i'm a little stuffed up today for some reason but anyways, yeah, girl, I'm getting my lashes done. Don't look at my fingernail because it's broken. Um, because I can't do the skin and the no lashes. So, unfortunately, we're about to sit at this two-hour appointment. Probably take a nap. Probably be snoring because my nose is all stuffed up. I just wish that... I liked the lash like that I went to for, like, years. Like, years. She had, a, like, a recliner bed, so you're still not, like, laying all the way back everybody needs that because laying flat back on the table is honestly just like insane and yeah i don't like it so anywho this is my favorite balm from the summer fridays they really did their big one on this when i got it i was like oh it's just gonna be the same as all the rest of them because they'd be lying they'd be acting like the other ones be smelling good and having flavor no they don't this is the only one that really is like it's minty in the name of it is like mint but it really tastes minty and just like fresh oh they really got the christmas decor out they got the bows on the light posts and everything trader joe's for the Hoos. i wonder if they're gonna remember me this is the place i used to always come to but i haven't come in a while because i'm like it's just out of my way to come over here but honestly it is what it is because I had a schedule with somebody that I've never got my lashes done before but then after that I'll probably get back on the schedule with one of the other girls I was going to because they just do my lashes so fast and I do not be having time I do not be having time lashes are done I don't ever know how I feel about my lashes after I first get them done because I just feel like I have to adjust but anyways we're headed to Trader Joe's the girl that did my lashes was so, so sweet I love a good girl talk like a good just girl talk when you're doing your services and sometimes like people don't want to talk which is obviously like their preference but she literally talked to me the entire time and I was like oh yeah it just makes it go by so much faster and it's just interesting like to just I hear about other people's <laughs> lives and just 
like talk so it was a good time my backup camera is so dark tight but yeah trader joe's is literally right here across the street so that's where we're about to go we have like a whole list of stuff that i want to try that my um friend texted me about like as her recommendations it's been so long since i've been to trader joe's but we got chicken lo mein chicken spring rolls the orange chicken um the chicken fried rice the strawberry juices chicken hot wings so let's go see oh, if i run over one more curb just somebody get me a chauffeur because i clearly give it up It looks the same. I as think the it's, I think it's the same. True. Yeah. No, what did I say? Low low main. Main. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The chicken chow mein. We're gonna probably do this for dinner. Beef and broccoli. I feel like I've gotten that before, but I never cooked it, so we'll see. And then I got some pastas for the kids just to try, because I feel like you can't go wrong with kids and pasta. And then the mandarin orange chicken I've had before. I do like this. And then I got the sweet chili sauce because she said this was good with the egg rolls and then these drinks i want to try the pineapple one. even though i don't really you like pineapple why'd you get pineapple because i just wanted to try it I I, like pineapple is better than I like pineapple. pineapple is growing on me i don't not like I like, like it as much as i used to not like it these are my new like go to the it. My, i'm like obsessed with poppy right now because they have a new flavor they just dropped the cranberry so good and the cherry lime and fire. this don't give you prebiotics and all the things but oh no that's good it's okay. a little sour but well did you have you got another taste here now yeah i did just have yeah. cherry lime in. that's pretty so, good but if you like taste it like i'm trying to drink my pineapple juice because you know what the girls say about pineapple juice <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Uh, I got banana nut bread because I like to eat, either eat these or muffins in the morning. So I was like, might as well try it. I got the chicken wings, the chicken fried rice. I got these little pancake bites. I'm going to make these for Carson in the morning. I don't know why I won't focus. And then the chicken spring rolls. And then I wanted to try these because y'all know I get the egg white bites from Starbucks. And these are egg Frida with Swiss cheese. I didn't know it had cauliflower in it. I'm kind of, okay. I thought it had like peppers or something in it, but I like cauliflower. It's got fried onions in there and stuff, so it might not be bad. We'll try that. I don't know why I got my lashes done, because I think I was finally starting to get used to myself without lashes, and I just wanted a little something, but this is just a little too much. And then I got this pasta for the boys to try too. It's like a white spaghetti sauce pasta. I'm about to put everything away, and then we're about to leave and go, oop look at some townhomes because my friend she's here she's getting ready to move and i like going to look so we're gonna go look and then probably go to the nail shop and hopefully eat something okay i'll see y'all in the car
motion. Everybody trapping, we get lost. He ain't four PF, yeah, but he ain't got motion. Made a half a ticket, not promotion. Shout out sushi, sweet, and keep me rolling. But if we get the up, we gotta smoke. Run around with Drake, like we yo, we yo. I got some rest. These are fine. I found, I don't know which floor plan this is. Hold on right here. Okay. You follow me? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You got desires, I know, I know. But you got desires, I know, I know. But you got desires, you got desires. You got desires. And I'm not a liar. You hear me down on my knees every time I talk beside. I'm in an eight and then one in the twist. I try to pay all your loans, so I'll pick up you a job. I had to stand too close to this kitty, you acting too vulnerable living this life. I still walk your way through this before I copy all this ice. You wanna be my number one? You're not hanging like the main thing. I let you play my number two. You barely made the second I change. Push you somewhere where no one can find you. Passion out in the sticks with nothing around you. Katie, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. You got desires. I know. Self-control is helping being a thing Don't think it'll help if there's a ring with a rock Where I'm from, they serve the soul to clean You come from a city where there's thing with the rock How the fuck you keep so many seats? How you going if we get pushed to be filled with How the fuck you see so many beats? Tickets to them places don't go cheap I see it back in church, remember we took it at first Not me trying to be cute, get my eyebrows waxed and the skin ripped off. All those pieces where it's red around my eyes, it's all glossy because I have on Neosporin. Skin ripped off. Yeah. So, anyways, safe to say, this week is just really kicking my ass. Like, nothing is really going as planned. I'm about to start my period. I'm super tired. I'm super hungry. <sighs> And I don't know what to do because half of me is like, girl, you need to push through because it's the end of the week. But the other half of me is like, sit down, sit down. So for right now, I'm about to sit down. I'm about to take me a bath. I've been taking a bath all week, which I think that's probably why my anxiety was high. I know some people probably don't believe me, but when I say I need to take a bath like every other day, every couple days, or I'll be on 10. I don't know what it is, but I'm about to take me a bath. The kids are home from school. They chillin', everybody had the little afternoon school snack. And I'm about to ice my eyebrows. Like, all of that, I'm trying to close my eyes, is missing. All that right there, that's my skin. That is no longer attached to my face. So, <laughs> I swear I cannot look for losing weight. If it ain't one thing, it's another. Okay, I was trying to be cute, get my lashes done. I've been feeling, you know, 
all crusty, musty, dusty because my face has been breaking out. And now I have no upper or lower eyebrows again. So I'm going to be walking around <laughs> like this until it heals probably all weekend. I'll just have a rescue bomb all over my face and hope that it will heal. Lovely. I just... Can y'all understand like how embarrassing it is? Like, like, what is even my life right now? Like, what is going on? My lashes, I think next time I'm gonna do, I did hybrid medium. So it's like hybrid minimum, medium, maximum. I think I'm gonna do minimum because I'm really just like not feeling the vibe either on my lashes, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know, I just didn't want this much. I just don't like when my eyelids are super dark because my eyes are already so small. They just be looking so heavy. And I don't wear any other type of makeup, so it just kind of feels like overdone up to me. But here I go. I just, one day I'm going to get it. 25 is going to be my year. 24 is still very chaotic, still very young, still very 25. I'm coming for you. I'm really going to be a girl next year and like somehow figure out how to be in a bad bitch era. But this year, don't worry about it because it ain't going too well. We got a lot to do tonight though, so that's why I'm trying to just like recharge myself and it's the weekend. Thank God I don't have to wake up and take anybody to school in the morning. I can just wake up and just be, love the weekends. So we can stay up late tonight. So I still want to get through wrapping the Christmas and all that stuff. So hopefully I'll be able to do that tonight. I'm like happy energy to do that tonight, but if not, we'll see. So right now though, I'm about to go take me a bath and redo my nails because my press-ons, I broke one of them. And so I like impulsively just like bit the rest of them off so i'm gonna do some pink other than june ones i also hate the color of my toes they look like pepto bismo and it's disgusting me <laughs> because the color that i picked they ran out of so then he was just trying to find me like similar colors and i was like no 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 and then he found this one and somehow i was like okay whatever but they look gross, like they already look like dirty, like old, like they look two weeks old, they're freshly done today. I'm never going back to Onyx ever again, so they don't have to worry about me. Wrap it up. <sighs> Goodbye. See you later. Some people crazy. First of all, I could totally see myself with blonde brows, so let's just start with that. Second of all, I give up for today, the day one. Friday one, making a zero. I'm not fighting it anymore. I don't care. We're having a rot night. Nobody told me Selling Sunset was out, and it's all the way to the reunion, so I guess y'all just really don't care about me, but anyways. I'm about to rot. I got myself a personal sized pizza. The kids are downstairs. They're eating their pizza. They took showers. And it's Friday night, so whatever they do, that's their business. Me, and my hot wings, my ranch dip, and my veggie pizza, we're about to get in the bed. And that's that. Try again tomorrow. Oh. I'm over it. I'm completely over it. I feel defeated. I feel like this whole week just slipped me by. I don't get anything done, so I will see y'all hopefully tomorrow, but I don't even know. This week is really kicking my ass. It's cute to do a weekly vlog when my life is together. But when everything is just falling apart, I'm like, hmm. It's not giving. Namaste. To peace in the office. <laughs> Namaste out of everybody's business. <laughs> Where my girl's at? The gloves are probably going to come off. Where my girl's at? I will really show who's a top agent and who's not. The other girls, they need to get on my level. My blisting. This 22 million. Oh, wow. Stunning. This is the best bathroom I've ever seen. Can I get the number to whoever did this? If you really want to win, win, put your money on me, babe. babe. What are you talking about? Oh, wow. Say good morning. No? You don't want to talk? Ooh. Hi, Squishy. Mm. 
Oh, he's just so squishy, so like a baby. Mm -hmm. I mean, you are a baby, but you're kind of like really not a baby anymore. Mm -hmm. I bet you're just so squishy like a baby. How could you not do He's just so squishy. I've literally just been sitting in his bed for the past like 20 minutes. Just it's addicting. You just so squish. You just so squish. <laughs> All done. All done. Put it on there. <gasps> Say happy Saturday. <laughs> this is our current brow situation. What are you trying to say? Bah. Today is our redemption day. We have to get our life together. It's Saturday. The other boy, the, uh, the other two boys. <laughs> the other boys. Let's leave the camera. You're heavy. Get down. Get down. Here, I'll turn the player. You know, no, 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 no. The most I can give you is a remote. Yeah. Have fun with the remote. Anyway, child, Gordon and Carson literally stay up all night because on Fridays I just be letting them be like, enjoy your life. You gotta go to bed at a certain time, play, eat snacks, whatever. You know, we run a tight ship around here Sunday through Thursday, so I was like, it's Friday, you ain't got no job, you ain't got shit to do. <laughs> be free. That's pretty much our Friday motto, unless somebody's grounded or in trouble for something they did earlier in the week. But. Anyways, I stayed up literally all night. Like, I went downstairs to check on them before I went to sleep, and it was already, like, 11-ish. Mm, they were up at 5 o'clock. So, like, I don't understand. And then they were being loud, too. So I was like, I'm really regretting this right now. Because I was like, it's fine if you stay up. But I guess they got sugar high. I don't know. Because I woke up this morning, they were eating sea salt vinegar chips. My sea salt vinegar chips on the couch at 5.45, and then at 6 o'clock, I started running around saying, bah, bah, and acting like sheep this morning. I don't know what's going on. 6 o'clock? If I let you stay up, sleep until 9, mandatory. You, you, can, you can figure it out. Get back. Say up, say up, say up, please. Up, up, up. Please. I'm working on not holding him as much. But how could you not? Oh, Papa. You're just a sweet baby. Sweet baby. Why are you trying to pinch me? Anyways, my baby is trying to come up. The agenda for today is to redeem ourselves from yesterday because literally yesterday just did not go uh, yeah. as planned at all. So uh, I don't know exactly how I'm going to walk out the house yet because this is, I mean, I have to keep some cream on there. Like my skin is off. Uh oh. Well, probably not. We probably got to swing by McDonald's and grab some breakfast. Hear me out. Usually on Sun on Saturdays, I would cook a good. You can't expect me to hold you while you're trying to do acrobats. Like get down. Nothing up. You cannot have my toothbrush. The kitchen is a mess because I didn't clean up yesterday. So I'm not gonna try to cook in there. <laughs> ah. You can't get mad. Because I won't let you destroy my property. Oh, is there another one? Judah! Carmelo, I'm about to play with you. Get out! You're probably because you don't listen. The point that I was trying to make is that we're about to get our life together, finish what we started, 
this week because I, I can't I don't have time to roll over for my plans this week to the next week and I got plans every week this month and for the rest of the year because it's the holiday season and Carter's birthday is near y'all been very crooked this whole time and I so heartedly apologize for that I'm about to wash my face <clears throat> I'm not about to say shower I don't know what's up with me lately like me and showers we just I don't know if it's because it's winter time I don't be feeling yucky I don't know. I did take a shower yesterday though, so. I only will not take a shower if I've just been in the house all day. Because I think I said that in last week's vlog, and I'm sure somebody's probably like <laughs> questioning my entire existence. <laughs> I'm just gonna wash my face. I don't wanna shower before I go outside because it's just really cold outside. So, yeah. We're about to go pick up the breakfast and let them eat in the car on the way to the car wash, right? Because I gotta clean my car. Cause I can't go another week without cleaning it out. I needed to be doing it weekly. So we're gonna go clean the car out, come back home, and it's gonna be a Saturday morning in my house. Okay, that means gospel music and cleaning. And they destroyed my downstairs, so they will be helping participate. The trash needs to go out, laundry needs to be done, the whole house needs to be cleaned. Then me and y'all, we got plans to wrap these gifts, which I honestly, <laughs> I just don't know if it's gonna happen. So, I did already go ahead. If you need some inspo, cause I'm taking too long, for the toys for kids, I made a little section of my Amazon storefront with everything that I got them. So if you wanna take a look at it, it'll be there. I just, I just wanted to go ahead and tell y'all cause I don't know how much we're gonna get done today. It's whatever Jesus allows. We got boogers. <laughs> Are you congested? It's always something. It's always something. Get some allergy meds. He only has two more. Let me see. Ah, say ah. You have four more teeth left to ah. in. It's so weird the way his teeth grew and they didn't grow in like any of the other boys. He's still missing his canines and now you know what i'm actually curious to see if he'll ever get them because my mom she never got them the pointy teeth right here i gotta ask her what she did about that because if you see her teeth it doesn't look like she never had them like i know she had braces but i don't know what they did because like she, and she has something there that looks like canine teeth she has really pretty teeth <clears throat> and she has really nice teeth but like she looks like she has veneers her top row looks like veneers. Ba? 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 You still got a little booger from. It's hot. We're about to go. So let me get ready so we can get in a car and get some food in our belly. In our belly. what I've collected over the time minus products I've already used and emptied out but I think we should do a test on all these different lip glosses and do a comparison because they ain't cheap you know what I'm saying most of them is pretty penny so what's the ones that are actually worth the money you feel me let me know if y'all want me to do that I'll just be finding any excuse to say something. I'm about to go get mellow dressed and then we're getting in the car. I don't know, but we also need to go by Target and pick up my drive before. Because I need batteries to finish the Christmas decor. I know I haven't showed it to y'all yet, but I am. I promise. If nothing, there will be some clips inserted. 
How do you tie your shoes? Carter. I'm sorry? Carter. We'll have to sneeze, sorry. We're gonna get food today. Can I get the um, number one? Yes, ma'am, for the drink. Hold on one second. Um, can I have... Um, can I just have water? Fell in my vision, live bigger than a bigger picture. Crazy, yeah, you gotta wait until it's dark out to see who really with you. Crazy, I even when it miss you, shit'll come back around and get you. Crazy like all my niggas. Crazy like all my niggas. Remember, I deleted all my other girls' numbers out the phone for you. Remember when you had to take the bars and I drove in the snow for you. Yeah, you probably don't remember half the shit a nigga did for you. Yeah. You ain't really fuck with me way back then, but how about now? Cause I'm up right now. And hey, you suck right now. Oh, you thought you had it all figured out back then, but how about now? Cause I'm up right now. And hey, you suck right now. Yeah. You thought the little effort that you put in was enough, girl. How about now? Yeah. Girl, how about now? How about now, girl? What about now, girl? How about now? now, now. Christmas twinkly lights vibes going. Christmas movie on. I'm about to make dinner. It's been a while since I talked to you guys. I'm not even gonna cap, but I've been basically editing. Um, and the kids have been napping. They're still sleeping. It's almost five o'clock. Well, Melo just woke up. I hear him. I'm about to go get him. And then Carter's right here. Carson sleep. But we're gonna make some Trader Joe's. This little pasta. I really just want to do something quick and simple. So, yeah, we're just gonna make this pasta really quickly. Water and olive oil, add pasta. That's it. Dr. Hey girl, we just got back from church. So, oh. I'm about to change my limbs really fast. This was my little OOTD for church, but service was good. We went to brunch afterwards and then we're just kind of a chill day. Everybody's gonna kind of like rest, take a nap. I'm gonna also try to like rest-ish a little bit because we're going skating tonight. Ariana, what are you doing here? Why does he keep doing that? Somebody get mad. We're about to get ready to go skating and I want to do like a little get ready with me and I was thinking like do I want to film it separately or should I just film it in the vlog? Oh, you know what? Let me see if I have this stuff. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Anyways, it's a cousin's night and Aaron's mom's here. She's keeping the kids purred. And 
of Aaron's brothers. We're about to get ready to go skating. I'm trying to see if I still have, and I don't think I do, because I think I let somebody have it. Oh, man. I was gonna say I could do my cherry scented routine, but I can't because I don't even have the stuff. I just don't know what I wanna smell like. Hmm. I could be basic and go with what I always go back to, which never fails. <laughs> ah, okay. One of Aaron's brothers. It's his cousin brother, but y'all know. When you black, it's like all the same thing. So, anyways, child, his girlfriend is coming. So she was texting me because I need her to bring me some. Anyways, my windows are open, so if you hear the planes or the trains, ooh, I could wear this. It's giving a skating fit. But they said it's hot, so I'm gonna wear biker shorts, I think. But I don't know if I wanna wear my outfit online or if I wanna wear skims. I don't know what I wanna smell like. <sighs> it's really irritating me, cause I don't have, this is why I don't get rid of stuff. Cause then when I get rid of stuff, cause I'm like, oh, I'm not using it. Then you always need it. So never get rid of your stuff. I'm mad, cause the cherry scented routine, I feel like would be perfect. Cause it's like an evening scent and I'm about to go skating and it's nighttime. We also about to go eat at the St. Louis food restaurant. We've been there before, but. We going again, even though they customer service is ass. I don't know why we going back, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, I have this little two piece up for my outfit online. It's comfortable, it's stretchy, it's giving skating. I think, like, you know, if I fall down in it, nothing will rip. So, but it's also cold outside. Well, kind of, it's not like super cold, but. It's a little breezy. I could throw a jacket on top of it. Mm. I mean, I don't really care what I wear, but I care how I smell. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, maybe I'll do. This shit really don't smell good, but. I'm just very sorry for the chaos. I'm like super excited. I'm in like a really good mood because y'all know I do not be getting out of the house. And today, I'm gonna be out till way late. Also, let me give y'all a hack that I just found out about. <clears throat> Is the lights on? It's all dark. Okay. Stop buying them skin, clean skin cup towel towels. I love them. Don't get me wrong. Concept of them amazing. The quality of them amazing. They're doing their big one. You wanna save your coin? Get Viva paper towels. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it starts with a V. It's in a purple pack. I mean, I know y'all can't really tell, but look, they're stretchy. You can wring them out and use them as a cloth to wipe your face way cheaper. Anyways, I cut mine in half. I know it looks a little raggedy, but when you cut it in half, it fits right there. So then every morning I could just get me a little towel You period. Period. Okay, that was a random. I need to charge my phone now. I need to charge my phone. Hold on. Okay. All right, we got the fast charger going. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I was thinking maybe I could do Glossier's body stuff. Even though it doesn't really smell like anything, it doesn't smell that good, the perfume smells really good. So I was just like leaning on mostly that I'll probably wear that perfume and then pair it with Sol de Janeiro. I think it's over here. This one you have to put stuff back where it belongs. I don't really have any body washes because this also smells really good too and you can pair it with a couple of different things. I just want something like bold. I want something that smells really good. Like I'm gonna be skating and when I skate by somebody they're gonna be like, dang, she smells good. That's what I want to smell like. You know what I'm saying? I think we're gonna end up going with like a vanilla base and then pairing it with this. And I'm gonna see what perfumes I have that I can layer on top of it. I'm trying to think if I have a vanilla perfume and then I'm gonna use this body butter because it's like a Tahitian vanilla by Kapari. So we're just gonna keep it simple in the shower. Ooh, let me look at my legs. I just got my legs waxed so they're not hairy. 
I'm trying to see if I need to exfoliate. So I'm like, what shower products? Like, do I want to use a scented shower product or do I just want to use my Bioderm oil cleanser and just get a good like scrub down? And then put the lotion on and just layer the scents out of the shower. Only one that was vanilla-ish that I could find was this Ambry Vanilla by Dossier. I don't know which perfume this is inspired by. I'm gonna mix these together and see. I really gotta hurry up. I mean, I know they're gonna be late, but I don't know about that. One of them is just not, no. I think this would pair just go by well with it by itself with vanilla, but not with this perfume. I'm mean, not using this. I need to rebuy this. This is the oh now I'm just wasting all my paper towels. The Ambry Saffron by Dossier. And I think it's the Baccarat. I don't know if something's wrong with my nose or something. Because none of these are really just giving to me right now. I'm like when in doubt, Burberry it out. I'm sorry, it's my go-to. I know y'all are tired of seeing it, but honestly, that kind of smelled good together. New Sarah scent layer unlocked. Hold on. Maybe it's a paper towel, I don't know. Something smells a little iffy. Dang. Another safe choice could be Scarlet Poppy, but I always wear it. We're gonna have to figure it out after we get out of the shower because I need to take a shower and I've got mm, like an hour to get ready. Oh, I'm gonna charge, I'm gonna charge my little camera so I can take y'all with me and vlog when I get to the skating rink and the done dinner place because I don't wanna take my big camera. Only thing about the, okay, let me show y'all because the DJI, I love this, I really do, don't get me wrong. Only thing about it is I just feel like it's not good for like somebody who's an everyday vlogger for going outside because the audio on here is trash. It does come with mics, but honestly, I still take my big camera out more. If I just know I want to get like B-roll, then I'll use this. But as far as just like using it to vlog, speaker is, is bad. It's bad. It's like the mic is just not good. Audio is not good. So anyways, I'm going to charge it so I can get a little B-roll clippity clip for you well cue the shower routine yeah 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 the price i want for sure you gonna need three promoters i got the body from jamelis but i had switched the motor getting ready i'm gonna finish getting ready with y'all but i did do my hair and stuff it's the same products i always use i haven't been putting any water in my hair because these this hair is more like wavy it's not really like curly and it's cold outside and i don't want to get pneumonia but i've been using this and this and i just kind of mix them together in my hand at the same time and then run it through my hair and yeah but i kind of like I'm, i don't know i like the curlier bundles that i had like the last couple times so i don't i've been trying to like not make it too sleek like i like a little bit of phrase a little bit of volume because i like the way it just spreads my face a little bit better hold on somebody's calling me from california my bad i was getting a call i got a virtual doctor's appointment tomorrow mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. okay 
the only thing i'm about to do is just like my little makeup routine that i've been doing not that anybody asked and not that it's a tutorial I'm just showing what i do in case you're a girl who doesn't know how to do your makeup like me and you just want to try yeah okay <laughs> i don't know why i'm like on 10 i'm just so like hype and amped up i don't know why i think it's because i'm about to get out of the house i've been out of the house in so long just like just me you know what i'm saying like as an adult and not as a mother but i put this lip combo on i'm absolutely loving it I don't really know if this one is necessary but it just gives like a nice base you just want to be extra you know i don't really do a lot so but yeah i'm really liking this lawless it's very sticky and it stays on for a long time so i don't i'm not gonna put it in my purse though i'm gonna just use that as my at home lip to just like you know keep them plump a little bit i didn't want to get ready too early that's why i took like an intermission because you know like who will always be like that can never be on time but me i'm an all time girly i need a hair clip or a headband the children are being supervised just in case anybody was curious i think i already told y'all that but okay anyways um gotta moisturize so i'm about to be out of my hyaluronic acid any day now but for me my skin gets like super crusty whenever i put on makeup so i have to like really hydrate my skin because it's nighttime i'm just gonna use a thick moisturizer like the cerave one since i don't need any spf because the sun is down i'm not gonna use any primer or setting spray because honestly i just feel like it doesn't really work that well on my skin like it just i don't i don't just don't i just i tried the milk primer and i tried this like setting spray but it always makes my skin pale i don't know why i don't like it so that being said this is really gonna be like super simple and quick but i'm gonna put on the glotion by l'oreal on the lower half of my face and then kind of like I'll just show y'all. So like here, he, like just a little bit around the perimeter of my forehead. And then blend it all over my face on the lower half and my eyelids. I'm just going to kind of layer it a little bit. Because my face is like super pale compared to like my neck at the moment. But it just gives a nice glow and a nice shine. And then I'm just going to blend this with my hands. I feel like using my hands is the easiest thing to do, honestly. The glotion keeps spilling all over my stuff. Ugh. I'm going to go in with a light concealer under my eyes just a little bit. I'm really going to like rub it off, but I just feel like when I don't do it, then my eyelids look dark. So um, a little bit of that. And then I'm going in with like a shade darker. I really need to go get like color match because I just, ugh, it's everywhere. What is going on? I'm gonna have to wash my makeup bag. Okay. And now I'm just gonna like conceal basically all of my face because I have dark, dark marks all over my skin. It really doesn't cover it too much, but it just makes me feel a little bit better. Me, me, not the altar in your white dress. Me, I don't really like to conceal a lot of my forehead, even though I do have some dark marks. I just feel like it looks more natural that way. Or I'll use a lighter concealer on my forehead. I don't know why. I just feel like that's my preference. I was gonna. I don't even think I'm gonna put any concealer on my forehead. I'm not. Okay. I'm gonna take this dusty musty beauty blender kind of pat again this is not a tutorial y'all know i'm open to feedback but i just be doing what i feel like works for me blend 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 mm. we blended out the concealer it just gives a little shush it's not really covering much but we'll take it and then i'm going in with the rare beauty the this is virtue virtue 
and I'm just gonna do it on the apples of my cheeks. I think before I was doing my blush too high, like almost where highlighter goes. So now I'm just doing it like right here on the like literal apples of my cheeks. That way, if I wanna do highlighter, I can just put it a little bit up higher. I'm using this kind of brush. I don't know what it is or where it's from. It's an e.l.f. electric brush that I probably got like a long ass time ago in PR. And I don't know, I just feel like it works well to blend. I really overdid it on the blush. Ooh, blend, blend. I'm probably gonna have to blot some off. Ooh, I overdid it. I usually just be doing a little bit. I think I got excited because I was talking to y'all. And I liked it earlier on me when I went to church. It was really cute. It's too much. It's too. It's a little too bright. I'm gonna pick some up. You've got to be shitting me right now. What? <laughs> I knew it spilled in the makeup bag, but I didn't know it spilled that much. Okay, well, let's just swipe that off. Definitely toned the blush down. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, <laughs> swipe not a Doriel. Swipe not a Doriel. Um, I feel like the definition between the concealer and the blush just got. It is what it is at this point. I mean, I feel like. That's why I don't be doing that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go in with this little highlighter right here. It's from Rare Beauty. We're just gonna keep going. You know, worst case scenario, we just wash our face. It's the Transcend color. It's like a rose gold highlighter. Boop, 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 boop. And uh, I'm just gonna use the same brush. Just lightly blend it. I don't really know if that did anything. Okay. I didn't set with powder earlier. I never blended this out in between my forehead. Yikes. It's like it spilled all over. Lovely. Let me see if he's on his way because I just know he ain't on the way. Oh, I just knew he was. He was like, I'm gonna leave at 6.30. No, you're not. I got a little foundation on the thing. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this YSL mascara. I don't know enough about mascara or anything to know if this is a good mascara or not. Alright, then I'm just going to look at myself really up closely to see if there's anything creasing or not blended well. For my brows, I'm just going to use brow wax. I did end up ordering the Refi one. But I don't know when it's going to come. Because it was like the order got shipped, but I haven't got it. I'm just using it on my fingers because I feel like I always have to go back and smooth my brows out with my finger anyways. Because it don't be laying flat enough for me. I be wanting to look like laminated. I did get a brow lamination kit, but I'm going to wait till the perimeter of my brows heal. Which, speaking of that, I'm about to put a little dab of aquaphor on it. Take the hair down, down. My edges got messed up. I have laid my baby hairs with some got to be. But it ain't got to be in today. It ain't got to be in blue today. Well, this is it. I don't really know how I feel about it. But that's what I be doing. Sometimes it be hit, sometimes it be miss. I just feel like when my skin is clear, then it'll be cute to like put makeup on. But right now it's just like, I don't know. Not really feeling it. So, can't figure out what it is though. The lighting is also horrid in here, so. And I'll see you when I get there.